WJBW is made possible by mm-hmm. sausage. Stick one in your mouth. Hey, all you racists out there, you should not be listening to our show because we uh-huh. do not like you. JB mm-hmm. Retro. Next. Bob Leamy is the one guy that I know that has a, a drill bit big enough to uh, do a big, nice boreal at any drug stop he goes to. You're very silly. You know that. A silly man. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. That's as bad as a woman. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I don't listen to some of our podcasts. Sorry, it's like... Maybe that's where it's at. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Oh, you know, some people are into that. I know there's a website. Fucking asinine. Some shit like some that. Shit you gotta like do that. the Rocky Mountain Rock. Big shit. Boom! Yeah! There we are! Welcome back! Welcome! It is DJB Reb Show, the final episode. Finally! 338, episode 338. I got the Reverend back in studio for this one. What? Great. How are you doing? I haven't been here in fucking months, bro. It's nice to be out. You know, we got a great show uh, doing a conversation with Jim Bronzo and Phil Hendry. Oh, my God. uh, Man of many voices. Phil Hendry. Quick check with uh, this Ray guy uh, up front here, but uh, it's great to see you. Have you back in studio. Yeah, man. I was going to say, too, you know, uh, we kind of weathered the storm of this whole thing here, and I uh, thank God for Facebook memories. I look back, and I'm like... On May 12th in yeah. 2015 was your first show. No way. That was when we, yeah. Wow. Isn't that crazy? So Facebook reminded me five years ago, the Reverend started on the show and five years ago to oh the my day. Oh God, dude, you need to post that. We are ending the, sh- the, the, the show. Oh, wow. Now, I want to talk about that too real quick. Talk about apocalypse. Well, there you go. Uh, the end of something and the beginning of something new. You know, wow, dude. So, is that for real? Yeah, you need to post that memory. I, it really is. At I least did. share it with me. I did post it. You did really? Yeah, it's wow. five years to today. I was like, I can't believe you it. Tag me on it. It's May 12, twenty fifteen. Wow. Uh, yeah. wow! Wow! It is freaky deaky. Anyway, I thought it was cool, but um, I was going to say that you know a lot. We did a lot in five years. You know, your con- contributions to this whole thing have been quite significant. Yeah. Thanks. Well, you're welcome. I feel like uh, it's been a long five years, brother. Do you feel a little weird about the ending? I do. I do? Yep. I do. I do. Yes, I do. I do. Uh, I feel like uh, uh, I feel like we should, in the future, we got two more events coming up. Perhaps, right? Well, here's what I want to do. And as always, we always talk about it kind of on air. Uh, Here's what I want to do is kind of get reshuffle our deck, learn what we're working with and try to legitimately put these two uh, events together that would both raise money for uh, Second Chance Wildlife Sanctuary. And uh, the first one, of course, would be the Screaming uh, Taco. The Screaming, Screaming Peacock. Peacock, sorry. And then the next one would be uh, Under the Influence type of event. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, we did talk about that. So, yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited about that. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's really where we're at with the JB Reb Show. Kind of want to really turn it into a, a more of a purpose, cause-driven type of program uh, that gives you the ability to... Hey, uh let me ask you this. Yeah, to help a cause. Yeah, man. Let's help a cause. That's what I'm all about. I want to do I it. Mean, I mean, let's help someone else's cause because we never helped our own cause. Well, That's instead sure. of just having people on like we do, you know, and talking with them, trying to help uh, amplify what they're doing, promote what they're doing, um, you know, this new format we're thinking about is a little more specific to the charity, right? Yeah. So it would really be something that would be yeah. on. You know, 100%, we're going to give all this money to this group to help them. And we're starting out that kind of model or, or template with uh, the Second Chance Wildlife Sanctuary. Word. Dot org. 
I'm all about them. that because Jim Bronzo. Uh, Jim Bronzo is a great guy. Great guy. Truly. Well, listen. Hey, uh, so first out of the gate here, uh, I had a caller. Uh, I'm not overly familiar with the guy. His name is uh, Ray uh, Lewis. I think I got him uh, queued up here. Hold on. Hey, Ray, uh, we got a couple minutes to uh, chat with you. Are you are you online? Hey, yes, I am. Hey, man, how you doing over there? This is JB, uh, the Rebs over there. But hey, hey uh, uh, so you got a lot going on. You worked in record stores a lot here in Orlando, uh, uh, kind of a uh, a staple of uh, some of Orlando's, uh, you know, popular places. The record store over there. Uh, what is it called? Retro. Uh, retro. And what's uh, the other one called? Uh, a rock and roll heaven. A uh, rock and roll heaven. Hell yeah. So, yeah, so we wanted to have you on, chat a little bit with you, uh, learn about you, and help you kind of amplify some of the stuff you got going on. You got a couple of GoFundMe fundraisers uh, you're working on, but welcome to our humble little show. We got about five minutes here. Uh, Ray, how uh, how you doing, man? How long have you been involved in music in Orlando? Uh, well, I moved to Orlando in 92. Wow. And I started working at Rock and Roll Heaven back in 92. Okay. And, okay. uh, and I, I also added on other places, you know, you know, retro records later on down the road. And, uh, so, mm-hmm. yeah, so those are the two whole, record stores. Yeah, you're and, a music, you like music, you love music, right? That's correct. Yes. Yeah. So uh, you really got into music and uh, you kind of were curating it every single day. What were some of the most exciting uh, things that came into some of those stores, you know, people used to be goo goo for Gaga over over certain stuff. I know uh, my babysitters love Duran Duran, and that's when I was a kid, and I loved my babysitter, so I started to love Duran Duran. I was like, oh my god! Uh, but <laughs> what? oh yeah, uh, yeah. Were there any big moments for you here uh, in the regards of music? You know, and the well, record, the um... record store. Oh, of course. I mean, I had, uh, when I was at Rock and Roll Heaven, I had customers coming in all the time looking for special things, and I would get them for them, and I had DJs coming from all over the city, yeah. you know, and uh, I was a DJ myself, too. I, I worked at uh, Jenny Lane Sunset Strip, which was owned by Warren's. I also worked at uh, out at uh, Universal, out at City Jazz, uh-huh. and various clubs around town. Uh, yeah. So, hey, JB. Uh, I remember the, uh, the, a couple of weeks ago we were wondering what the name of the uh, the swinger club that we couldn't figure out what it was called yeah. Rat Packs and he was uh, he was the DJ Wally there. Oh really? Oh, we say is that true? The yeah, Reverend's got some music history. Yes, yeah. that. Yeah, that's true. Rat okay. Packs. All right. It was originally it was originally Jenny Lane Sunset Strip, then it became uh, Rat Packs. Rat Packs. Yeah, we were trying to we we were thinking it was like Sinatra's or something the other week. I forget who we had on, and we were talking about that. But anyway, right now, uh, Ray Wallace, uh, appreciate you giving us a call. You're definitely a local legend type of cat. Uh, so uh, appreciate your time. I know, um, you know, we're keep it in the record store vein, and to keep it kind of nice and brief, um, you know, there's some stuff going on. Obviously, with the economy, record stores are impacted hugely. <laughs> Local record store, uh, Rock and Roll Heaven. How long has that place been there? Do you know the history of that place? Oh gosh, it's been there like 40, 40 some years. Wow. Why did you leave? Not longer. So. Why did why'd you leave Rock and Roll Heaven? I just went in there one day when I uh, moved to Orlando back in ninety two and was looking for a job, and they uh, they hired me right on the spot. You know, so no. Why did you leave? Freddie and Ray are the owners, and the place yeah. is a great place, and Right now, due to the COVID, they're in a, in a financial situation, and I started a GoFundMe page for the store to help them out. That's awesome. You know? Yeah, and I shared that out there. Uh, when uh, when did you leave uh, with them? Was that recently? Uh, back in um, uh, July of last year. Um, okay. When I came down with cancer, I left. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. And that's, so, I, I appreciate you yeah. sharing anything you want. It's a very personal issue. But, um, yeah, that's the other GoFundMe page where people can actually, you know, help out and donate a little bit uh, for uh, your recovery with all this. Um, the, you know, uh, Ray, again, you know, being kind of a staple here in Orlando, the city is changing. Uh, you know, things are, are happening along. I really want, uh, rock and roll heaven's, uh, success, just like I want your success. Uh, so in saying all of that, you know, people can also go give a little bit of love to the GoFundMe page that you have set up for medical expenses, right? Right. Yeah. I have a GoFundMe and a Facebook fundraiser for myself, uh, the 
the GoFundMe was started by uh, one of my friends in the music business, uh, Sandra Carr, and then I started the GoFundMe for Rock and Roll Heaven yeah. to help them. Yeah, so. I think that's great. The giving keeps on giving. Well, I saw some posts of yours over the weekend, and I was like, man, let's reach out and talk to this guy, because this is our last episode. Uh, we've been doing this kind of program for 10 years where we talk with people and learn about people. So um, I really appreciate you giving us a little bit of time, uh, you, you know, and uh, what would you say in closing would be uh, best way for people to find you? Is it Googling? Uh, you, uh, you know, Ray Wallace, uh, Raymond Wallace, uh, looking on Facebook, uh, yeah, these... on, 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 on Facebook. Okay. Awesome. All right. Well, good deal. Well, Hey, uh, again, appreciate you being on the JB Rev show. Uh, much thanks for, uh, the time that you were able to give. And, uh, we definitely wish you the very, very best, uh, with everything moving, moving forward, brother. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right. It is the JB mm -hmm. Rev show. Uh, we got a French 79 track. We'll be right back. <sighs>
having a good time. I'm not having a good time. So why the fuck you listening? Get the fuck off my channel. www.wjbw all one word dot c o m. Yes. Yeah, That's how it is done. You know it in most parts of the country. Apocalypse. Uh, you are looking. Uh, so that's our, our last episode. I'm glad we got a little bit more time to talk uh, in the opening there, as we always do in true form. Try to help people in the community and, yeah. and got stuff going on. That was always kind of the whole purpose. Good luck, DJ Wally. Of this show. Good luck, DJ Wally. Yeah, best to you, man. Best to uh, you. No doubt, because you know Orlando. It takes a lot. You see everything that happens with people in restaurants and how many people it actually takes, you know, for a lot of these local businesses to, to run their business, you know, a 20, 30 people, uh, you know, Maxine's is a great example. I like your um, mic stand. Say what? Your mic stand. I like that. Is that new? This thing? No, oh. I've had it. Oh, no. I'm captain of obvious. Over here. Okay. No, it's been there quite Still a while. Why don't I have a mic stand All like right. that? Maybe we, I'm maybe. glad you just noticed it. Uh, you just noticed that I was, yes so are you listening awesome. to the show you're on uh, right now I do I do let's see <laughs> I was gonna say there have been a lot of damn good memories over the years man dude I mean, did you did um, you uh, like uh, put together some clips or anything you didn't did you, did you no no prep work for I have show. a shit ton do you know that uh, today was the very big. first day I did your show five oh. years ago Dude, five years ago on this very day, 2015. We spoke about that. It was my first episode. You were sitting in that chair, and you basically never left. I know. I've been here. Yeah. Cats and all, bro. Cat, uh, you cats still have that one cradle. cat that's in heat? Silver Spoon. That was the craziest time. This, you still We've have had that a lot cat? of crazy times. You had to, you had to kill that cat. That's what I was going to talk about is kind of reminisce a little uh, mm. a little with you. Cause, so going back to 2015, just so people know, I relaunched the show all audio in March 2015 on my right. birthday. And you were right there in March, man. You came along. And then Jill was also in the show. Delicious. And then, and then for a while, I was like, you know what? Uh, you know, uh, Reverend's really bringing a lot, you know. and uh, Jill's bringing nothing but germs and, and well jill was crazy she sadness. had her own yeah she had her own <laughs> reality show on tlc she was trying to get that's right and all that uh, shit. she was self yeah. self uh i mean uh, deprecating well deprecating yeah uh, it was all but it was like drama uh just reality the, show uh, stuff we did crazy didn't. anyway for us so keeping it all <laughs> audio <laughs> uh, i thought it was important to <laughs> Make sure that we could speak well, you know, and uh, sound good and do everything live. Let's talk about speaking well. How many uh, uh, different words that I would say wrong and uh, get corrected on and be like, oh, man, I totally thought I said that right. Like uh, edumacation. I thought for sure I was edumacated. And then you told me just how educated that I was. Um and I guess that comes with, you know, getting as far as ninth grade. Well, we started. In, I mean, educated was in, really, I mean, I, I, I knew how to spell it and everything. Uh -huh. And uh, I used it all the time until you corrected me. Uh -huh. And I thank you for that five years ago. You're welcome. I've never said educated again. See? Well, there you go. And uh, Good for your uh, I know. Co communication skills. And knowledge, remember? Yeah. When I, I was always saying, dude, True. I got the knowledge. Yep. And you just, like, let, you let me go with that. And then he was like, actually, it was, I'll so never all forget. All your other friends will let you just say it wrong. That I'm sucks. Like, that kind of sucks. Don't, I don't, I know, I got the knowledge, bro. And they'd be like, yeah, of course you do, Jerry. Right. And then I would, that one day yeah. after that, after the end of the show, you, uh, you. you put your arm on my shoulder. Yep. Very and uh, you brought me in close. After and you school said, special. Uh, you said, listen, man, uh, you've been using the knowledge thing. I thought at first it was a joke. But uh, do you know that's not right? And I said, man, I know what's up. And you're like, well, it's really called knowledge. And I was like, I was always wondering, you know, I'd heard that word knowledge before, uh -huh. and I never really heard the knowledge I feel, I feel. until you t you put your hand on me Thank and you, you showed me the way, bro. The way. <laughs> and you educated me that's right. on the knowledge. And I appreciate that. You're welcome, my brother. So my memories are, are still intact. A little bit little fuzzy. Bit. Well, I wanted to say, 
It started with some great characters. Uh, bathroom guy, remember bathroom guy? He was a character. <laughs> you know, uh, that's we. That's uh, crazy. He, he used joke. to call in bathroom guy. He was so fun. Was he? And uh, yeah, we had some you random, him on clips random or messages close and all together? that stuff. Any no? clips together? No? Oh, uh, let man. people go search. How can this be our last everything? show? We're and gonna have to come in and do nope. a recap. Nope. A recap. No clips. Yeah, dude. It's like you know. <laughs> recap. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we have had some good times, and we've really have talking to uh, some spoken, per- spoken with, talking with, talking to, we talking to, we've been talking Dude, to, we talked to, okay, we did the we two do, talking. we speak with a lot of we great spoken with people that really are authentically pushing something forward, which is what I love and what I loved about the show the most is oh. we, we are organically like would talk with people, you know, uh, Tommy Stinson, you know, that came in through mm. modern music movement. What uh, about, I've oh. spoken with, uh, wait, wait, here's a great memory. When Tonda <laughs> came up here in studio uh-huh. from, uh, the cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. And she brought those hordivores with her. Mm-hmm. Oh, those hordivores. Mm-hmm. Were so delicious. Well, we ordered the, a the pizza. Cat, the cat kitteries. Like an old school sleepover or something. So, she uh, had pizza cat kitteries. Yeah, so, those, that, that's on the way. Anyway, so this show is a big show. It's on, it's on tap. And uh, we're just doing a little bit of reminiscing here because I wanted to say, too, that uh, Pat Travers, I got to interview him. Oh, we I mean, both over did, the remember? course of time, uh, you were not there. I was right there. Over on, the course, on, of you were not on your shoulders. No, that was before you. I was whispering. That was pre like, pre rev. Ask him about the one time. It's like ask him about cocaine whiskey. Tell him about the horde of horrors. Uh We did start whispering actually. I think in 2016 before the whole ASM uh, craze, and we actually did start with our super secret shows. Yeah, our yeah. Wait, let's uh, let's go back. Maybe not super secret. Maybe I'm over here. Over. No, I'm over here, JB. Oh, the hortivores from Tonda were delicious. Yes, they were. And then the, uh, oh my God, the cat did cherries. You don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> I was trusting you with airtime. No. Cucurious. You stop it. All right. Uh, cut it out. Go <laughs> A-S- Remember that? I used to do that laugh a lot, A-S-B-M. like for some reason. Google that like right now. Like Lou Costello. I can still do, do that. Like, I can do a great impersonation of your drop. Impersonation? Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is an impersonation. Watch. Google that right now. Google that right now. Here, let me turn it up. Google, Google that right now. Google, Google that right now. Google that right now. I didn't press it. Google that right now. <laughs> okay. I'm really good at doing impersonations uh-huh. of... Uh, <laughs> of people i love uh Whoa. the charcuteries that i come up with mm-hmm. and the uh Again, it's the, uh yeah dude what's going on with you you're here in studio <laughs> I'm you're excited literally dude. I'm, out of the house. Help. I'm so excited we have uh phil hendry oh on dude tonight. that's this guy's thing, actually. this guy's background is just remarkable and uh that's at the top of the hour eight o'clock hour our hey, feature phil hendry just you heard it here let's yes. let, just to uh, give our our listeners that are listening right now pull up his idm uh, IBDM, his IMDB, his DBIM, just to let the listeners see some of the stuff. That, no, this, Everything it's is amazing. resonating through this. Yeah, thing. you just Jeez. smacked it. Oh. But it's really amazing. I mean, because. Go check out his IMDB. IPDM. <laughs> uh, IPMD. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'll, yeah I'm, a, I'm a PMD, yeah. which is, uh, you know, permanent <laughs> muscular dystrophy. What is, what is <laughs> I'm a PMD. So, okay, but we don't listen, want to offend anyone. His oh. IDMB B. Well, that's wrong. And, it, and his QRP. But did you pull it up? Because it's pretty amazing. I know. No, well, to, seriously, just oh, to give our listeners, oh, yeah, okay. for real, just to educate a little bit. Because this guy is, uh, he's been on, I mean, you name it. He's, uh, I mean, his voice is, he is so iconic. It's uh well his voiceover work alone besides is, the fact that he's an actor you know writer producer right uh, but is anything his animated up there. pretty much it, even the Simpsons I think he was on but anything animated yeah. he's been a guest on F is for Family Team America Futurama this is forty so those are some big uh, titles yeah. Squid uh, that Billies. he's been involved with Squid Billies there you go Rick and Morty yeah see uh, the female brain. Uh, Playing House TV series like so he's had an animated series about himself as well but. 
Yeah, that's why uh, he's Modern Family a little bit. Anyway, so I'm Oh, yeah, super, Modern Family. Just uh, oh, Semi-pro, the movie there. Yeah, dude, uh, it's incredible. Yeah, so he's he's really got a hell of a great resume. The guy is super talented, and it's really the best way I could think of that we could close out our show. Right, and let me, let me explain to uh, the people listening that don't know about Finn, Phil Hendry. Uh, uh, Phil Hendry didn't audition for anything that he's ever been in. People reach out to him, and that's why he's involved. Just so you know, I mean, like maybe I mean he just doesn't he doesn't have the time because he's fucking yeah. so badass. Yeah, he's always doing something. Yeah. Well, plus he's kind of you know with the radio uh, show that kind of culminated, and now he does you know radio show style podcast, and right. the guy is brilliant. I Absolutely. Mean, I I just can't he's even a conceive. Yeah, let when alone it comes to voice, having like another voice where there's a fake intern or something. You know, <laughs> this guy, you know, has got a half a dozen people in the room. Absolutely, he's got a posse. It's on For the sure. side. On the side. This? Uh, no, the other side. On the side. See oh, the side? The side? That's the side. Hold on. We're getting caught up. Right there. Oh, okay. That's <laughs> the magic button on the side. So he's trying to light up this, uh, the whole room. Oh, dude, you got it. Dude, look at how beautiful that light is. You see that? Yeah, it's on. Uh, thank so you, uh, Jason Kennard. Christmas lights yeah. that were outside. <laughs> It's and amazing. that's what we have over there, shining it's up against beautiful. the wall. Anyway, but yeah, as we go along. Let's change it to cocoa. Yeah. I'd like to see that color. We don't have that. What? You said you have the cocoa. It's in another part oh, of the Oh, my lordy uh, bee. But, I mean, if you give me a minute or two. Uh, okay. What are we going to do? Wait, let's quickly see let's, if we can talk so with Jim, excited about Jim Bronzo. Wait, well, wait, wait. Um, wait, next up, we got Jim Bronzo, who we can kind of call, uh, you know, when when we're ready here uh, in the next few minutes. But um, I am PD, ASMB. What are you doing? I'm doing the ASMB. What's oh. up? IMDB. IMDB. <laughs> Doing no, that. the ASMB. Yeah. yeah, I think it's ASM. Oh, ASMB. Uh, it's IMBDBBCB. <laughs> <laughs> it's www.asmr. A- What's it stand for? ASMR. What's that stand for? Audio Stimulation Materials. <clears throat> Audio Stimulant Me. What? What, what ASM, bro? What does it stand for? Uh, Assholes suck meteors. Uh, right. Yeah. Just, come on. What does it stand for? ASM. I'm trying to find it. Hold on. I believe it has something to do. It's got to do with audio. Sexual. Okay, here it is. You can stop. You can stop anytime. That microphone has been uh, uh, coronified by you just now, I think. You, need to you better stop. It. Yeah, I just I did everything in here. Yeah. All right, stop it. Bet it. your ass you did. The acronym stands for <laughs> Autonomous <laughs> Autonomous <laughs> Sensory Meridian Response. Oh, that's right. There's an R in there. Which ASMR. refers to pleasant tingling sensation accompanied by positive and sometimes euphoric oh feelings. ASMR occurs when a person so is triggered sad. by certain auditory or visual stimuli like those profile, or by ASMR. Darling. Okay. Okay. You go and you're forming so a rock all band. All this time we're like ASM, ASM, BD, a- IMBD. It's ASMR. Uh-huh. And say it again. What's it stand for? Audio, uh, yeah. Listen, so you already man, forgot. I just, I'm, I'm moving on. It was the most ridiculous. No, oh, oh my god, come on, you can just get back page. Nope. Google that right now. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, let me get Here, you some music. We no. gotta queue up this call. Yeah, you with, need to uh, change that color. Bronzo. Uh, yeah. I got a track. ASMR no. definition. Here we go. Here's the definition of ASMR. Oh. A feeling of well-being combined with a tingling sensation in the scalp and down the back of the neck, as experienced by some people in response to a specific general stimulus, often a particular sound. Like JBW Show. But is your voice really oh, doing it for people? Oh my God, it's making them tingle. <laughs> it's really down their spine. This will be off right now. And okay, up their, right up their butthole. What? If you're constipated, how you feeling? Oh, oh yeah. I cherry pick some reverence revelations mm, from the past. Let uh, it go. So I got the avalanches queued up here. Yeah. Let's rock into one of those Let's do it. songs. Uh Wait till you hear a call. My revelation tonight with Jim Bronzo. It's all gonna be awesome. That's gonna have a, a, after bap, bap, Hendry. Bap, bap, bap. Of all course right. it is. Anyway. JB Rev Show. This is uh, another song. This ain't the avalanches. Hi. Ah. This, this is the avalanches. If she don't love me, what can I do? Just put on my best pair of shoes first. Drill a song, honey, that's for long. 
of the suede the rainbow jacket. Ball slang glow, Bronx is only Django. Snap be a golf or stop, but that's where my pops go. That's where my pops win. See, my percentage is a pennant to the planet. Knock it out the ballpark, Frank it. I should not tie this tie to a better lock. Let the wings spread. It'll always come back, baby. Come back, shit like black, baby. A comeback, flat black paint on a Chevy. www.wjbw.com. Oh, yeah. So, hey, that was the Avalanches. Avalanches. That was a good little track. So, hey, we got someone very special on the line right now. We got uh, Mr. Jim Bronzo. And uh, how you doing, Jim? Jim, welcome back. I'm doing good, guys. What's up? Hey, Welcome man. back to the show. Uh, always great to talk with you, man. Uh, you know, this whole episode, uh, we were going to end around this time frame with a big event uh, dedicated to Second Chance Wildlife Sanctuary dot org. Uh, so that's not going to happen right now in the month of May. But uh, we do want to say we want to make it happen in uh, the summer coming up very soon. Yeah. So uh, I wanted to thank you for calling in. I know you're still working hard. I know people are still bringing animals and everything. So much appreciated yeah. for your time. You're welcome, guys. Yeah, some lady brought in this poor cockatoo yesterday with a big hole in it, really? no feathers at all. I it's saw that. Thing. Uh, oh. Well, that was eighteen. That was eighteen hundred dollars today. Hello. Wow. Uh, yeah. I mean, what are you gonna do? But I mean, um, she couldn't afford it. That's why she gave it up, and she was crying. But they just, you know, people are out of work, and they couldn't afford it. Right. Um, right. So yeah, what? I mean, what? What was going on with that? That bird, like pecking its own feathers out and doing yeah, in its own hole. It was a. That's a weird thing. I mean, she had that bird for 19 years. It was a happy bird, beautiful. And then, I, you know, I don't want to say anything because it was starting, but I mean, the husband stayed home because of this whole virus thing. Right. And then all of a sudden, that bird, whatever happened, flipped out and pulled all its feathers out and chewed a hole in its chest. Mm. And, um, you know, I don't want to, you know, but I just thought that was weird. Yeah. All, of a sudden, uh, all of a sudden, the guy was home all the time instead of leaving. Right. Giving him right, a like, right. sanctuary. Hey, uh, let me ask you this, Jim, because I've been following you. I follow you every day on on Facebook, and it's amazing what you do. But right now, I mean, Lord have mercy, how many ducks do you have, I mean, on your property? I've seen so many little baby ducklings. I am not kidding. I probably have 200. Wow. I mean, a lot of them fly in and fly out, like the mallards and the muskies. Right. The, right. the white ones can't fly, and they hang with the swans and the geese. But, right. You know, but they um, and I gave my neighbor across the street down the road. He has, probably has about sixty. But after Easter, we get like probably seventy. You know, little bratty kids get those little yellow ducks, and right. then they get tired of them when they get big. And then um, people bring injured ducks all the time. Right, right. Not, can I say bratty kids? I guess I should. <laughs> right. I so, hey, Jim. I, I mean, I, I absolutely love and adore everything that you've done for our community, and it really uh, sickens me. Uh, you know, the uh, the whole. Uh, what's been going on, what happened with the yeah. initial fire, and then what happened just recently. I mean, has there been any kind of, uh, inv- I mean, I-, I feel like it's the same mother, you know, motherfucker. Well, listen, I got an attorney, finally, like a powerful attorney. Right. I had a pro bono one. Well, actually, this one is two, but this one was like a friend. This This new lady is a bulldog, and it's not just him. It's just like, you know, people want me shut down for various reasons. And, and, it's crazy. But it, it, yeah, but it's going to come to a head. You know what? His house is done. It's a big, beautiful house. He doesn't want animals there, but he should have figured this out, you know, five years ago before he moved in. Right. And he knew so, what he was getting himself into. He just thought he'd be exactly. able to bully you out, which is bullshit. But it's gotten worse. It has gotten worse. I Man. thought it would get better, and it did, but it's gotten worse. Wow. So it's almost like, I know, I'm exhausted. So you get, did you at least have cameras up yet? I mean, got got cameras up, but they're not. Great. We got them installed, but they're not quite working. But mm-hmm. they were donated, and 
listen, I got to wait for everybody to do what they do. But I right. mean, they're up there and we'll, we'll be all ready to go this week. Cool. All Great right. to hear. Good. Well, talking with Jim Bronzo, founder of Second Chance Wildlife Sanctuary. I, I really wish we could have already helped by now to like get to fund I this. I wish too. Yeah. But, uh, you know. but we're going to get something going so, soon and uh, much love and respect much, to you, brother. Much keep, love. Keep fighting, Thanks, fighting I love fight. Jim Hobart. I love that you guys had him on the show oh, yeah. too. He's a great guy. He really he's is. He's a great guy. That was a great yeah, episode. Yeah, and he stepped up after the fire. He, I didn't even know who he was, and him and his wife and a few friends threw a great fundraiser for me at the Abbey, and he's just a great guy. Yeah, great he guy. is. And he we're, we're yeah. going to be working with some of those same great powers. Yeah, be, we're, gonna, uh, we're, to we're here to help, happen. Jim. So uh, anyway, hang tight, my brother. Great talking with you. Wanted to I will. Connect. Thank you for All your right. time. There you go. Uh, right, Jim Bronzo. Yeah. You, you rock. All right. Stay Local healthy. legend. Music for sure, uh, playing that guy. Say that again. I'm a lot. Say it again. Legend. L- local well. legend. Local, local legend. legend for yes, sure. More question. like a supreme legend. Without question. A supreme legend. That's even better. That's right. You guys rock. I love you guys. And All right. be safe. All right. Thank Thank you, Stay brother. sexy, All right, man. All right. Rock and roll. Okay, there bye. you go. That rock, man's a rock. damn rock star, that guy. Uh, Jim Bronzo right. on the line there. And uh, local yeah, legend man. for sure. For sure. Supreme. Supreme. He d- he deserves uh, the supreme. He is kind of up there with the supreme. Dude. I mean, it's pretty I mean, much. We've had we've I mean, had. But, uh, you know the the whole thing uh, that I want to talk about. You know tonight uh, with uh, Phil. You know is the fact that um, according to some information online, he started his career here in Orlando, Winter Park. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. I've done a little research. So uh, plus, he's been on air here, you know, night times and whatnot. Times. So yeah, many times. Uh, but his show is always entertaining. Uh, anyway, Very. I'm so I'm so dorking out and getting ready to talk to him. You know, plus it's a little bit of uh, kind of that same you know feeling about oh, it's the end of the show. You know, we're getting near the end, and um, you know, you, you get uh, sentimental. You know, that makes me yeah, think of this. Play that ASMR. 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 Emotion. W A S M R. W A S M R. W A S M R. It's like two guys fascinated with our own voices right now. W A S M R. Jim Bronzo, what a guy. Uh, awesome. Anyway, yeah, I was watching one of the videos he puts up frequently, uh, whether it's through the page or his own personal page, and there were damn road runners. Roadrunners, like Wally Coyote, these suckers were so fast, dude. What? It was so cool to see him. He was Ooh. like, "Look at these roadrunners." He posted this video, and these roadrunners, they were like, Pew! "On Pew! Jim Bronson's thing, yeah." Were they at his house? Yeah, no way. Yeah, man, he's got Whoa. like some crazy ass roadrunners. Back Holy there. shit, that's crazy. Never seen a real live uh, roadrunner. Really? No. Yeah. Have you? No. Yeah, I mean, part of me says it would be awesome to go out there. I see plenty of wild e coyotes. You know what I'm saying? And do a festival, <laughs> and yeah. do a festival. But you know, there's a lot of liability in that. So, a lot of liability. Yeah, so we can't take all that on. Yeah, you got to get insurance. Um, we want to do something, and we'll probably hit up Matthew Scott from the Iron Cow and try to get something set up pretty quick. Uh, maybe if June, if people are out and about again, that might be a good time. So that's, that's uh, about when it, the second spike's going to happen. It could so. be that. It could be that soon. Second spike? Are you worried about second spike? Dude, there's no doubt. Well, you're here now. I mean, you were social distancing. Yes. I'm here now only Uh, because I'm able to be, and I'm very cautious. Yeah. But let me tell you something, man. Let me tell you something, Jamie. Yeah. Okay. I was in Publix today, and not to fucking put out Publix, because they uh, have really helped fund Jim Bronzo with uh, their expired food. Instead of Uh, throwing it away, they actually uh, let Jim come pick it up himself instead of delivering it. Um, but, uh, dude, I was in the Publix today and the general manager, right? Everybody they're, they're required to have a mask on yeah. and the general manager, cause I go in there every day because of my work. I just kind of start my day there and I get bottle of water and, uh, whatever else I'm going to get. Yeah. Wearing a mask, right? I'm not underneath no. his nose though. Oh, you're not required to wear one here. And we're definitely six feet apart from each other. Right. And you sanitize this, uh, Yes, a plug that used to be ears. Um, but, it's dude, it's if you're wearing a mask and you're not wearing it over your nose, get the fuck away from me. Right. It makes me think you're, you know, you're, you're special. Like, you don't understand how things right. really work. How breathing works. Like, you yeah. Have it above like, your have nose. Have it under your nose. Sure. And, dude, right. I'm, I'm, 
I counted at least four people today inside that Publix that were employees that the same thing. I'm like, what do you mean? Wow. It was underneath their nose. Oh. Or on their chin. Oh. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I wish it was a joke. So I got a I got a special uh, something for you. I'll see for you. What are you talking about? Show. I got a gift for you because it's our final episode, oh. and that you know this is my first day and my well, last. Well, I got day. a speech for you. So before this a whole speech, thing is like over. an intervention. Yeah, no, a speech. A speech. Anyway, okay. yeah, I was right. gonna give you a give you a little bit of a speech. Uh. Let me see if I can get down into this. Hold on. Get down. Hold on, because the this. first part of this, I think get this down. this will make into you this. super happy. I'm trying to, and this machine is a little needs a little time to queue up here, but we need to change this color to cocoa. Yeah, it's cocoa color. <laughs> cocoa mm-hmm. for co- I'm I'm cuckoo for cocoa puffs. <laughs> ASMR. AK's house. There's <laughs> party at AK's house. There you go. So I'm going to change the clip. There's party at AK's house. <laughs> That's the one for dude. this episode. Can you send that to me, like can, uh, personally, like yeah. send that on my? Yeah, this yeah. is the one. There's party at AK's house. <laughs> <laughs> that's so. That's I an impersonation. That would make you happy of Jay yeah. Bevins. <laughs> well, I just wanted you to. <laughs> Oh, dude, you got to send that, send that. Party at AK's house. Yeah. <laughs> send that to me via message. Please send that. because I will, I'm a, I will uh, actually. I will try to I'll, do it. I, it's a whole big file, though. What I'm doing is dude, going in and just sniping, I might have some special guests call in. Call a in. A little bit of audio. And, oh, uh, really? Yeah. I can right. maybe have an AK call in. I definitely know someone I can have call in. How long? That, we can broadcast for five hours. I hate, if, dude. If you want to do it up. Uh, uh, I don't know how much uh, time you have. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, I mean, basically, after the Phil Hendry thing, I'm like totally happy that we've done that. Yeah, man. Uh, you know, I'm uh, and I, I wanted to give you a, a thank you speech for all the time, energy, and effort that you've put in uh, over the years. So you know, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I would have put together a, um, a speech for you, but I brought you a very special gift. Okay, instead, mm-hmm. and uh, which I'll present to you at the end of the show. Uh, don't put it, put it. Put your clothes back on. No, uh, well, okay, because it's not very what, special. Okay, come on. But it's, uh, it's you know, I brought something, and, you know, this really has been very meaningful f- to me, and uh, it's the growth that we've uh, grown together. Yes. Um, and the people that we've talked to and the people that we've helped. And, you know, I noticed that uh, the Orlando Weekly, once again, I uh, had their their uh, the best of is out right now. I don't know. if Have you checked, uh, checked Orlando Weekly and see if maybe – Maybe we've been nominated for a best podcast. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? You know what? I mean, sincerely, oh, somebody needs to say I, that. You well, guys. I mean, come on. I, 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 I know. Can't, I know. I, I have been I know. through a lot with this whole show and people's conceptions right. or whatever it is. But uh, I've always tried to have a relatively pure motive when yeah. it came to relatively. I just want, well, relatively pure. Well, I'm going to have a drink, a cocktail while I do this. I'm going to try to live broadcast. Right. I'm not following FCC guidelines or any shit like that. Fuck but no. We're over here and all we do is we give away our sponsorships and we talk with talented people that are doing badass stuff um so that's kind of the template um that uh, we relaunched in 2015 wanted to have people in studio and on the phone and we've been doing that for five you know solid years before that everything was kind of pre-produced uh we did produced episodes and we released them on a schedule and uh, we followed the television schedule so in may the television series ends and uh, the new summer series and whatnot begins. So this year, we're not doing a summer tour. We no. are doing a couple of events. Uh, so stay tuned with us at WJBWNetworks.com. Of course, uh, some archive gold will keep coming out of uh, breaking news badly uh, through our channel. Uh, we can also do, uh, you know, the Circadian cast. I give yeah. you some original music every week. And every week. I've had an idea. To actually create a show what? called The Reverend's Revelations. Oh. What well. do you think about that? Like a little half an hour a month or something maybe? Yeah, or dude. Just like, yeah, that would be a cool show for me to, uh, yeah, just man. easy for us to put out. So anyway, Crazy. but uh, yeah, so as we grow, uh, you know, we're going to try to, you know, it's not the end. It's the end of this one thing, this talk show. And, and it's really not a dig on any podcast or anything out there, but there's so many of them. When we used yeah. to be one of two 
uh, now, you know, we're, it's like we're one of a thousand podcasts out there. So, gr- gr- you know, people keep going on your ventures, doing your thing. We're at episode 338 on this show, and we're going to uh, put a hold in it. Anything we else uh, that we do probably moving forward could be under this particular station, but uh, it'll be an event or special uh, for the sole purpose of helping to raise money for things that we believe in. So uh, we're kind of morphing into these, uh, uh, you know, seniors that should have graduated five years ago, and we're very philanthropic seniors. <laughs> we totally don't belong. <laughs> we're still in high school. We don't belong here. You can make a movie about it some other day. Anyway, uh, I am J.B. Webb. That is the Reverend. What? What am I? It's good to have you back in studio. Hey, buddy. The Reverend. It's good to be um, back here. I forgot just how angelic the blue walls and hair are. Mm-hmm. We need to go. We need to bring this back. When the next time we do, uh, we do need. We we ever do anything again? Uh-huh. Uh, we need to. We need to be on on, on video. I mean, I got the do face. We for need it. to be on video. I got the face for it. You know, have you maybe your uh, butthole in the background? It sounds great. <laughs> You want to have my butthole in the background? <laughs> yeah, dude. Of course. I want to make a cartoon. Make my face look good. Anyway, I used to used to love to do clay animation type of stuff. Oh, I bet you did. And uh, is that I, why you? Like, well, I'm thinking of actually setting up a little area over here where I've Shut got up. a claymation little studio. Ah, yeah, is that why you always want to like fucking put clay around my venus and nope. like cut my balls? That's not like, right. You're like, dude. Nope. Yeah, not right. Fucking at all. this clay. I think we might have some food here. So food. Let, let me do this. I hey. think we, we're going to queue up for Phil Hendry. I got a couple of tracks I can go to uh, uh, while we do that. Uh, right. Let me make sure I I do have them. And you want to uh, work on some claymation with what? me, real quick? No, not right now. Come on. No, of course not. Of course uh, you do. We're going to go to a Justin Symbol track. Ah, oh, yeah. Is it Kiss? It sure is. Oh my God! Is it? It is. I fucking love that song. It's one of my go-to songs, man. Yeah. It's definitely been with my rever- reverence revelation. That's right. This is a great fucking song. So this is a Prince uh, a cover of Kiss by Justin Symbol, a.k.a. Uh, Justin Symbol. You know what I'm saying? This is brilliant. Play it. JB Rev Show. It's coming up right now. Nope. Don't hear it yet. Oh, hold on. Get ten to, you got to start it over. You got to start it from the beginning now. So, JB Rev Show. This is Justin Symbol. Kiss ASMR. <laughs> To be beautiful, to turn me on. I just need your body, baby, from dusk till dawn. You don't need experience to turn me out. Just leave it all up to me I'm gonna show you what it's all about You don't have to be rich Be my girl You don't have to be cool To love the world In your particular style I'm not compatible with I just want the extra time in your Kiss you got to not talk dirty, baby If you want to impress me You can't be too flirty, mama I know how to undress me I want to be your fantasy And you can be mine You just leave it all up to me And we can have a good time You don't have to be rich To be my girl You don't have to be cool To love the world In a particular style I'm not compatible with I just want to be Extra time with your Let my love be your drug. 
pleasing oh <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, welcome back the jb reb show our scheduled caller uh let's get him in uh let's see if we can get him right exactly into the board the yeah. radio uh legend himself i think is calling us uh right now it is phil hendry on the line hello oh, oh hold on i got you hold on there we go Okay, I'm so sorry. All right, now with that big pomp and circumstance, my wow. bad, little tech issue on my side. Welcome to the JB Rev Show. Is this Phil Hendry? Uh, beep, beep, beep. Oh, no, we didn't get the call through. He's going to call back again. It sounds like it was beeping. Hold on. Do you not hear that? Yeah, but that's he dropped. He dropped the line. So we're oh. going to get him back on the line, but... 
This guy, man, uh, is such a big deal for me because, you know, number one, we've been doing this show uh, without thought of trying to get anything out of anybody, you know, or, or do anything. We just wanted to sincerely help try to promote people, you know. So um, being able to get a guy like this to call in on our final episode, uh, it's a big deal. Anyway, uh, I think that we ha- we got him back on the line. Uh, it is the uh, revolutionary radio legend himself, I believe, Mr. Phil Hendry. How are you? Hold on, sir. Hold on. Let's see. There we go. I think I got you into the board. There you are. Okay, it, uh, Phil, is this you? Why, hello. Thank you. How are you doing? Okay, that does sound like him a little bit, but I can't hear him. Hey, Phil, can you hear us? We can hear. We cannot hear you. Philip, can you hear us? I cannot hear you. Yes, I can hear you fine, everybody. Let me see. Hmm. Hold on. Let me see if I can get him. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can get him on uh, a speakerphone or something. Hold on. You need to fire the... Hold on. Uh, hey, uh, Phil, can you hear me now? Take it offline. Hold on. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know why he's not coming in. He should be coming in crystal clear through there. Unless he's pranking us. Like, uh, uh, he probably is pranking right. us. Actually, that was me calling in. We're getting pranked by Phil Henry right now. Hey, Phil, uh, this is JB. Uh, is this you? Can you hear me? Yeah, because we can't hear anything right now. Wow. Uh, hopefully, you're not trying to zoom in. We just uh, just a regular phone line. Uh, let's see. I can try to ring you back right there. Uh, let me see if oh. I can. No, if it makes up. any difference let's if see. I just ring him. I see. Uh, all right, there we oh, go. I'm I hear the in. ring. Hold on. Let's see if we can just get it through. Is that you? Yeah, I right hear you, motherfuckers. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Oh, Jesus yeah, Christ. Talk about the dumbest fucking cocksuckers I've been talking to all fucking day. They're screaming your asses for the last 15 fucking minutes. Oh, I'm so sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's all JB. Hey, Phil, are you there? Uh, gee, we can hear him, but he can't hear us. And I'm, talking, I'm going, I'm right here, you dumb cocksuckers. What the fuck is... <laughs> Oh, I'm so guys, sorry. Have, wow. You guys, let me ask you a question. Yeah. Have you guys done this before? Of course. <laughs> yes, we have. One. We have, have done, done this. Have you done, have you done radio, podcast? Yes. What have you done? Yes. We both, uh, both. have radio radio Both backgrounds. radio experience. And, and this do, you, pod- do you work with an engineer? Do you work with an engineer? No, no. I yeah. am, uh, I'm the guy <laughs> that's... Do you know what an engineer is? Do you know what an engineer is? <laughs> yes, I'm I do. I'm just fucking around. I'm just kidding around. I'm kidding around. <laughs> yes. So, uh, I feel you. I feel you. No, <laughs> but thank you. Anybody can make a damn show. And I'm going, I'm right fucking here. Can you hear <laughs> I'm so sorry. Into the uh, well, it makes for some good color commentary uh, coming into the damn uh, session with you, man. We love radio. Uh, we, we we talk with talented people every single week, and we shine a little light on what, what they do. And we're at the end of our 10th season, and uh, you're our big closer for everything. So I wanted to thank you personally, man, for, for yeah. spending some time with us. We're, you know, we're 10 years old. We're, we're kind of wrapping it up. We're going to go and be like more charity driven a little bit uh moving forward but i wanted to say uh you have entertained me uh over the years your me brand, too yeah uh, the reverend over there as well uh your brand of oh, uh, i'm sorry about my language reverend oh yeah the, it's uh, all right he's a okay. he's a rock this time and roll. i'll let you fucking get by yeah he's a rock oh, and roll okay. reverend rock yeah, and roll, the, so right. yeah so he's a good yeah he's a good guy i only did uh, all the girls oh, okay that's fantastic that's right. That's I can marry the bitches, yeah. not like them priests. They not strictly boys. And he drinks a lot and smokes a lot and cusses. Yeah, it's weird. Little boy. anyway, little boy. little boys. Right. Talking yeah. with Phil Hendry, uh, like I was saying, we we venerate talented people every single week. You uh, will be surprised to learn that we have created a local legend interview session, which is yep. definitely what I want to give you our local legend However, session. He's more, and we've done a supreme yes. legend before, um, yeah. but we've never in the entirety of this show have ever done an epic supreme oh, local legend, you're which right. is absolutely what well, because uh, he is. We're going to learn about your, uh, if you share a little bit of your background here with us over the time that uh, we have with you, that's what we do. We love to learn about origins, kind of trajecting, you know, up into current day. Uh, so uh, hang on for our proper title, man, because you definitely deserve that local legend uh, title. He did start his career here supreme here in Orlando, yeah, know. in Winter nothing Park. Against Orlando. Yeah. yeah. Nothing against Orlando. Yeah, I don't know. Do I talk now? Or- well, you can just no, hang yeah, on. No, I want to give you a proper intro. Here's your intro. He is uh, right, definitely yeah, okay. a uh, pioneer, uh, revolutionary, uh, radio, film, yeah. TV. Uh, he's had his own animated series about him. Uh, he's Damn been in a right. lot of great movies that you probably already love and have heard of. Uh, it is the legendary badass Phil Hendry uh, that we have as a local legend. Epic supreme uh, local epic legend. Epic supreme local legend. Thank you. We got the, all the branding right. Okay, we got all of our... Uh, now... Our, 
we got all of our tags in there. But Phil, thank you so much again for doing this, man. Uh, Sorry, time's up, Phil. It's good talking to you. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> <That was easy. laughs> There you go. Uh, So we love to learn about people's origins. Um, You know, I myself can uh, recant uh, many times. uh, I've fondly thought about my brother and I in a a, a little room with a tape recorder, you know, creating little bits and doing little things. Uh, You know, that led into my radio career. And, um, you know, ever since then, you know, I think there has been just uh, with this whole podcast thing, a broad fascination or appeal with podcasting and people talking and talk radio in general. But you, you have pioneered the way. Uh, for a lot of us, uh, you, you have heard uh, that Phil Hendry, you, you know, is a one man show uh, and uh, he definitely is. So I would love to hear a little bit about kind of how you came up, you know, as a young man. W- was this always a natural skill set, an aptitude, an ability, um, you know, to have this really intellectual concurrent conversation going with several different people? Uh, and it's just you. I want to make you think I hung up. Um, <laughs> the, um, I was hoping. <laughs> I don't know. It can still happen, brother. No, I'm just come on. Happen. Just kidding. Come on. Let's uh, give it a back. Well, first of all, I'm, I, when you say I'm a local legend, I'm not from Orlando, yeah. California, but I started my radio career in Orlando. Right. Was, uh, That's what we're talking about. 1973, and I was at WBJW. Wow. Which, 105, WJF, right? What's that? WJBW was 105 on the dial, was it not? No, no, no it, was w, it was WBJW. WBJ. WBJW. Yeah, yeah. We used to say, we used to say, you get a kiss at 740, but a BJ at 1440. <laughs> <laughs> and so, see, I got, uh, anyway, um, I started in, uh, you know, I really, I have to be honest with you, I didn't really discover what I wanted to do. I mean, as a kid, I, I, was, I yeah. was crazy. I did a lot of voices and stuff. But uh, when I got into the professional world of radio, it was very sort of constraining for me. Okay. And uh, I, I was a disc jockey for a lot of years at um, a variety of radio stations, but I didn't really bust out as a real personality until into my late 30s when I started to do um, this kind of satire of talk radio. Mm. Um, and that was uh, initially up the coast here in uh, Ventura, California, where I, I started. So I sort of went from Los Angeles, where I was a DJ, back down to the small market again and kind of started it all over again. But as a kid, I mean, I, my instincts, you listen to what I do, were so yeah. radical that I was really afraid to uh, express much of it on the on the air. So I was pretty much of a, of a, a button-down disc jockey for 17 years. Yeah. Wow, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and, and well, that's well, I didn't know that, Phil. All right, well, thanks a lot. No, Here, no that, that, that was Phil Henry we were just talking to. Well, that's what's we cool. Still have the, yeah, Maybe we that, can talk about the coronavirus or something. I, I don't know. I, no, I think that's what's this. awesome, though. No, because I think that's what's <laughs> awesome. It gives you a backbone, you know, of of radio structure. Um, mm-hmm. uh, you know, because even when anyone listens to your program now, uh, you know, as we have promoted out there, um, you, you know, your current uh, program uh, is very much like a radio show. Uh, people can go to uh, philhendryshow.com yep. and uh, consume everything that's there. Very entertaining, uh, but, by the way. But that's what we're saying is like, uh, you know, where people have a little bit of uh, ex- ability to express themselves. And then once that ability becomes easier, or easier, or more commonplace, more and more people are doing it. So it's kind of, you know, clouding out this big noise. But with everything that you've done over the years, it's, it's very impressive. So it's good to see that you've got kind of that backbone of the timing the the records play in coming in and yep. out. I mean, you put in your your dues uh, w- with that kind of work. Well, yeah. I mean, um, uh, I you know a lot of artists don't really find themselves to their late thirties. A lot of them do. A lot of them find themselves right out of the gate. You know, but uh, right, right. I think about uh, uh, comedians like um, Phyllis Diller, who's a kind of an older comic mm-hmm. from yeah. generations gone by. But she was a copyright. She was a radio station copywriter before she started doing stand up. You know, really? and, uh, yep. Yeah, stuff like that. So, I mean, and um, so I, I, I just decided with all of that in my background that I would do the kind of show that I've always wanted to do, which was a sad pair. I didn't like really a whole lot of radio in terms of how it was produced and presented. So, right. and talk radio, talk radio especially. So, I decided it was right for satire, and that's what I do. And now I, I basically just satirize whatever, you know, the kind of the, the regular presentation of. Uh, shows yeah right and i just the other thing is i do all the voices myself because 
I could never get together an ensemble of actors and cast members <laughs> yeah. and get their shit together enough to do the shit I wanted them to do. You know, ah. you know the way I wanted them to do it. So right, I just said, oh, fuck I it, I'll, I'll do it myself. myself. Yeah, exactly. So wow. That's what I said to well, do. And so. Know. So hey, Phil, you know I'm I'm mesmerized by your career and all your all your voices that you do. Uh, there's a couple mm-hmm. things that that I want to definitely share with you before we go about. Like I don't know if you've seen the uh, documentary about uh, Daryl Hammond on Netflix, which is amazing, and all the voices yeah. that he did. You definitely mm-hmm. yeah, check that out. Um, I will. But because it's it, Daryl Hammond, if you know anything about him, I mean he's a Florida boy, and uh, it just all his voices. That. Yeah, he was oh, born right. in Melbourne, and like he went through all this trauma. But enough about him. I'm just saying you need to see that Phil because uh, I will definitely. He's uh, he, you know he's well, a legend when it comes to you you know, voices, and and that's where was he, an, was he an animation voice? Was he? Um, uh, he he was all that. He uh, the, he started off on with uh, Second City, and then moved his way into cool. uh, you know SNL and whatnot. Anyways, oh, cool. Phil, uh, enough about that. <laughs> <Wow>. It's you. <laughs> what my question to you wow. is? Hey, thanks for joining our biopic on what's his name? <laughs> Jesus, I, I'm sorry that I. I, I know a lot of people in voiceover, but I don't yeah. know that cat. Does he work well, out of New York? Is he here? Yeah, he was SNL. Just anyways, enough about him. Um, yeah, right. This, yeah, uh, right, about, right. yeah but see, right my question for you, <laughs> no, 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 Phil, is, um, you know, after, you, you know, your long stint with everything that was going on, who, I mean, you've been in so many different projects and well, have collaborated. How did that, who was the first person that reached out to you and how did that whole train of like, the uh, voiceover work yeah, kind of begin. Well, was that the radio? Keep us on the linear track, Phil. Well, um, how I got into voiceover work, you mean? Yeah. That's what you're asking me? And, and such successful voiceover work, you know? Well, because I'm good. And, right. Uh, that's, uh, you have to be good. And I got uh, contacted initially by um, King of the Hill when I was doing my show in Los Angeles at uh, uh, KFI. And the guys at King of the Hill called me up and, um, Mike judge. Uh, no, but it, you know, he doesn't really call people. He has right. people call people. Right. Right. Uh, but yeah, I don't know who the, I don't know who it was over there, but one of the producers and, and the first thing I heard from my agent was, did you know that you're on withdrawal from SAG? You haven't paid your dues in 20 years. Oh, okay. So that was the first thing I had to do was pay my dues. Um, and then I got hired to, uh, work, you know, to those guys. And, and the, the casting director was a guy named Scott Mueller. So what happens is if you get in with a casting director who really likes your work, you know, and you get to know him, right. he'll cast you in other things. And Scott was casting some stuff for, I think, uh, Futurama. I got to know Matt Groening um, uh-huh. just because he heard, he heard the listen to the show. So I think what happened Simpsons, was the nature Matt of the show. Matt Groening. What's that? The Simpsons Matt, right? Yes. Right. And, and I think when, when you're doing uh, voices or you're doing an inventive kind of character voice, uh, you'll you'll get the interest of people that do that, you know, that do that kind of work in uh, television, animation. So right. Matt Green hired me to do Futurama after I was doing um, mm-hmm. King of the Hill. And then Disney uh, called me up to do a little show called The Replacements. I played a couple of characters on that. Wow, okay. And then, uh, then the big one for me was, um, I don't know if it was the big one, but it was a lot of fun to do, was uh, Team America. Um, oh, yeah. Trey Parker called me up and yeah, I like how he just blew past my agent. Just called me. Yeah, great. that's great. <laughs> yeah, we can call your agent, Phil. But do we really have to pay him? So we just like to do. I said, Fine. <laughs> so so um, the movie Team America, right? Team, Team America, America yeah. World Police. Yeah, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. That was in, that was in uh, two thousand four or two thousand five. All marionettes. And so that, yeah. So that was um, how that happened. And, and uh, hey, then after that, I, how many characters in uh, Team America did you play? Do you? I, I did two that I remember, okay. and maybe three. I did the voice of intelligence, the computer, and okay. I did one of the uh, Chechnyan. <laughs> I did one of the Chechnyan. Uh, uh, yeah, like terrorist guy. The, hell it is. the reason I'm asking yeah, yeah, is because right now on HBO, it's yeah. uh, on. It's the last month, last month of May that you can catch that on HBO. Okay. Is Team America, and so that's why I'm uh-huh. gonna go home and watch it tonight there and you. listen for your voice. Okay. Listen for your voice. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a, I got, I got a line like you know. Good morning, Mr. Johnson. You know, which yeah. is the, um, the computer. Because right. uh, when I was when I was doing it, the um, the voice, uh, Matt Stone directed the uh, the sessions, and I asked him. I said, um, "Do you mind if I try something different, man?" Because um, they wanted me to just do a robot voice. And I said, yeah. "They'd go, yeah." And so I just I broke into this, uh, you know, this sun baked kind of guy, feminine. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what's going down? You know, um, here's the report this morning, and it looks pretty. 
decent. I don't know. You know Sarah's that's like, so. oh, that's not get- No, that's like a California. You said sunbake kind of day. Like, oh, it's all or all. Right, all. right. Yeah. Just to do this all baked, yeah, sunbaked and shit. So right. they like that. And uh, we went for it there. And, and so, and then yeah. after that, I forget what, but what happens is you just, you do these voices and uh, people hire you for other things. And um, one thing leads and, to it another. It really depends on what you want to, what you want to focus your career on. I was doing the radio show at the time and uh, it got to be, uh, uh, there was a lot of shit happening, you know, um, well, that, uh, that, that's another yeah. great point. I mean, too, you know, keeping the radio show going until, you know, it's like you, you ultimately, you, you know, came to a point, I think it was the last 10 years where you're like, Hey, let's just, you know, get this all under Phil Hendry, <laughs> you know, dot, dot com, uh, kind of set up, uh, where people can consume it at, at will. I mean, your shows now, uh, are really yeah. great. I tuned awesome. into one dude, you were fighting with yourself. <laughs> about whether you were eating meat or not. And I was yeah. like that. I was like, that man, I would I would love to set up a Disney cruise through your brain somehow. I mean, you just you're oh, just awesome, dude. A you really are. No, no, I'll just say it. The dude is on awesome. That you, ship's gonna say. Uh, no, well, I want to gush on you just for a second, Phil, because uh, you, you know, doing everything that I've done with this show, it's always been about mm-hmm. helping people and talking with people and learning about people, you know, and all of that. We've always tried to do some crazy little bits here and there you know, and, and put some little, uh, you know, productions out and whatnot, but it's always been for that radio vein, but I'll tell you what, man, uh, your, uh, whole career and there are things that you have in the future, I am sure, uh, that are still highly impactful, uh, th- that are to come, yeah, uh, it's uh, true. you know, well, so I, I just want to say from, from the bottom of my heart, man, I am so honored and privileged and pleased that you were able to be on our yeah. show here. And now we're not ending the uh, interview, no, but no, no, I just want to gush. Well, I just want to say how honored I am. So, I really, so are you going to tell them about the bit you did called Phil Henry's cruise through your colon? Nope. Okay. That's what I was saying. Oh, was, great. Uh, <laughs> send that to him online. I'll send right. that to no, him I offline. Up, uh, it, I just looked up Daryl Hammond while you guys were talking. Yeah. And, um, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a quite a, uh, uh, compelling story. The man struggled with, uh, yes. You know, abuse. mental illness as well as uh, substance abuse. Yeah. It's very yeah. compelling. Yeah. I, that's why I figured you'd, you'd relate to that actually. <laughs> well, wow. yeah, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, I'm Maybe kidding, if I girl. had you. You know, it's funny. I um, <laughs> I just check. here's the show. Let me plug two shows that I'm on right now. All right, right. awesome. Called, please, F, F is for family. F yes, is for family. Bill Burr, and the other one is a new one called Midnight Gospel with um, uh, Duncan Trussell, and uh, it's a it's a trippy show, man. You, yeah. I, I don't know how to explain it, but I play like a simulator computer in this thing, and I also am a disc jockey kind of a guy. Okay, okay. so and, F let's, and, F is for family. You can see on Netflix, right? And yeah, that's the Bill Burr. Both of them are on Netflix. Okay, mm-hmm. they're both. Well, that's what was going to be my next question. And you, you're yeah, talking so fast, Phil. F it for family yeah. is the Bill Burr uh, animation, which is amazing. And then what's the, yeah. the new one that you're on? Say once the, new, again. the new one is called Midnight Gospel. Okay, Midnight Gospel. And it is, it's an yeah. effort uh, from Duncan Trussell and from oh. uh, uh, Pendleton Ward. Okay. Pendleton, wow. uh, Pendleton, um, uh, God damn it, Adventure yeah. Time. Right. Yeah. Adventure yeah. Time. So the kids yeah. know that show. Uh, Midnight Gospel. It's a very... Yeah, Midnight Gospel. It is. It's a trip to see, and what it is is he takes the uh, audio of his interviews on his um, podcast. Duncan okay. does. Okay. And they they animate to that, but it's weird animation. Like he's walking down the street, talking to the person. And suddenly they are they're they're consumed by a gigantic meat grinder, and they're spit out and they become fish. Mm. And ah. And they're swimming through like I the universe. Love that. Yeah, but but it's all this regular rap session he's having. Like in one of them, he talks to his mother. In another, he's talking to Damian Eccles, you know, from, uh, if you guys watched West of Memphis, that um, documentary about those three kids that got caught up in satanic panic in the early 90s in, in uh, right. West Memphis, uh, Arkansas. It was really wow. a terrible situation. They, this guy did like 18 years in prison for something he didn't do. Oh. And so, you know, Duncan's yeah. talking to him, and meanwhile, this weird-ass animation. So I think that show's fantastic. Wow, and, that sounds uh, great. Uh, yeah, and why did I bring that up? I'll check that out. I have that well, 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 because that. that's what you're doing right now. Yeah, that's why you brought it up. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, but, yeah, I think you guys were mentioning, like, the trajectory or something of your career and everything, right? Right, yeah, it, for it sure. It to go in that direction, because what I did on radio was so weird uh, that it actually counter-programmed a lot of the talk stations I was on. Because if right. I was on a talk station, right. and now here comes this guy at 9 o'clock at night or 10 o'clock yeah. making fun of all that shit they'd just done. 
Oh. I think it really pissed off. <laughs> I think it yeah. pissed off a lot of program directors. So <laughs> right. Uh, wow. I don't. I don't think we were long for the radio world anyway. And, and the, the yeah. trajectory you talk about, I think, was was toward doing voiceover animation. Right. Uh, fancy kind of shit. You know. Well, that's that's how I I know you the best. And uh, let's mm. talk about real quick. Uh, uh, have you ever met um, Unknown Henson? Have you? Did you ever meet him in person when you worked with on Squidbillies, or was it all like? Uh, no. No. Oh no. No. I, okay. I know. Um, David, you know the guys that uh, directed, produced. Right. I did that show. I did that show remote from California. Okay. Do you yeah. remember what character you played on on Squidbillies? I did a hillbilly, one of the hillbilly uh, squids. I remember that. I think. Okay. Okay. The yeah. the only reason I ask is because uh, we've had unknown Henson on on the show before, and uh, you know he's wow. he's a uh, the the guy that does the uh, uh, Earl. Earl well, uh, the, mm-hmm. the main, he is a, a prodigy guitar player, and he's also known as Unknown Henson. So look, check that out. Because well, I mean, I'm going to check that out, man. Yeah. Because I've worked for, yeah, go ahead, man, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm well, it now, just, I'm getting over, now I'm getting over enthusiastic. Uh, yeah, let's see something else I did. Write that down yeah. also. Yeah. Yeah, but Unknown Henson, I mean, you can Google Unknown Henson, and there's like, he plays this guitar. I'll send you a link later. But, I mean, he's just a uh, prodigy. He's so good that a guitar company actually named, um, a guitar after him um and the rev yeah yeah, the rev is kind of our music uh yeah i'm all about music our official music snob on the show yeah and i was really intrigued that Uh that you worked on squid billies as well as uh you know with matt with uh futurama and you know and just the i I had no idea that you're working with f is for family with bill burr i mean that's like you know yeah yeah imdb funny man Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, the IMDb page there is blowing up. Uh, it is yeah. Phil Hendry that we're talking with. The man uh, is uh, a magical uh, voiceover artist, a yeah. hell of a revolutionary radio guy, yeah. TV, film. And I even saw um, there was some kind of animated series, I think, uh, based uh, loosely on Part of Your Life or something. Was I right about that? Did I also see that? Um, I, you cut out. There just uh, for a second, JB. What was it? Uh, oh, uh, there was there was an animated series. I think uh, you were involved with, and uh, I'm not sure if it was about your life or younger part of your life. Oh, shit, I, I am seriously like losing you. He does not um, want to talk about that. Okay, so we'll uh, move on. No, no, we'll no. I don't on. mind talking about it. I, nope. I, I caught most of what you said. I just, but you really are kind of bouncing back and forth. How about but, me, um, Phil? Can you hear me? Oh, okay, I can hear. I, I can hear you. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's talking about you are, yes. there was loosely based an animation series based on your life. Is that well, true? I did a pilot. I, I did a pilot for Fox with uh, oh, cool. Steve Levitan called Phil Henry that was based on my yeah. life, but it unfortunately okay. did not get it didn't get picked up. Um, but uh. it was, oh, it's on my website. Maybe you saw it on my website, man, because we do have the pilot on the website. We had a really good cast. We had yeah. uh, Sarah Silverman in that, and yeah. uh, Neil wow. Patrick, and yeah, some really good people. Yeah. And Adam Carolla did a little. Uh, I mean, a cameo. Yeah, oh, yeah I can't. That's that awesome. Prime. I'm so sad that didn't go. That didn't jump up. But that that again, you know, talks to the legend of this guy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that, yeah, <laughs> that well, he can't get a show made. Yeah. No, come no, on. No, 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 no. It's a hard thing to do, man. But um, it is. That was a show that was based on my life. You know, at the time I was married, I had all these stepkids, and I lived in a a big house in a gated community. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> so and now I I don't have any of that. I live out of my car. And I need to, you know, I need something to eat right now. So, that's what I'll see you later. Um, mm-mm, mm-mm. But I, well, don't do that. Oh, shut up! Yeah. Wrong, I think Come on, something wrong with my phone Seriously. or your show? I don't, I don't know. know. No, no, I don't know. I don't know if you're still in a good faith. We're we're getting you in pretty clear. It's so the, if, uh, can the, I tell you? This is what you said. This is exactly what you sound like. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh man! Yeah. Oh no! I'm sorry. All well, right, we well, can hear you. We won't. We Great. Won't, we won't keep you there. I'm. I'm sorry that we're not coming so wait, across as. Let as me good. talk. You guys, let me ask you this. You're you sounding good. Audio. I can call you back on Facetime audio. How about that? Uh, let's do hey, that. Hey, but real quick, can you hear me? Okay, yeah. right now, Phil. Sort of. Yes. Okay. Sort of hear you better. Yeah. So you know, I wanted to bring this up earlier with with JB because I'm just curious how many people have ever heard about this guy because I just found out about this guy called Nardwar. Have you ever heard the name Nardwar in his interviews with musicians? No. Never. Okay. No, okay. I haven't. No, no worries. Right. So what did you want to call us back so you can hear us better? No, no, no. Maybe We're can... hearing each other pretty good right now. I well, think. you can hear me. You can't hear you because your microphone over there. Can't hear me? Where that was what, earlier. What do I need to do here? Talk directly into the, the top of Okay. It. Can you hear me now? 
Yeah, I can hear you great now. Okay. All this right, is good, his first good. show. So, nope, this is our last show. Anyway. In the, right in the middle. Uh, so, keeping <laughs> keeping up with the truth, you know, where there's uh, relationships in everything that you do, uh, you know, minus kind of the uh, uh, show. Well, I wish that I could tell you that I'm hearing what you're saying, guys, but it's just, it's, now it's just dropped out completely. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, All right. Like well, you can call me back. It's yeah. Like you call me back and then we establish a better line or something, but right. uh, just that little section just went completely. Yep, now you're We're starting going, to right. do it. So let's do that. Let's All hang right. up and let's give call back. We'll All break right. to a song. Well, part two. And we'll call him back. All right. You got a song lined up? No, I don't. Okay, well, line up a song. Okay. And we're gonna, we'll be right back with uh, Phil Hendry. Uh, he can't hear us right now. And uh, we're breaking up with him. And actually, he was kind of breaking up with us a little bit there. So we'll break to a song, right? What do you want to break into? You got a Reverend, Reverend Revelation there? Uh, what you got? Let's see. I what think I got? snuck a local one in there, but it's pretty oh, long. Okay. Uh, so let's go with this go with one. This one's a little bit shorter. It's three on E from Wolfpack. Ah, oh, I love that one. Dig this in. We'll be right back. Oh, not not plugged in. There you go. Hold on. We're going to have to do it. Do it all backwards. There it is. There you go. All right. The JB Rev Show. Jeez. Yeah. Phil Hendry session cut in half. We'll be right back. We'll be right back. DJ yeah. Big Rev Show, a uh, little bit of a break in between the oh, session that we had man. with Phil Hendry, and I think we got him a successfully back onto the line. Uh, Mr. Hendry, you're there. Yeah, thanks, man. There Sorry he is. The, uh, there he is. Yeah. 
Rock and roll. Rock. Well, uh, yeah. uh, again, I appreciate the fact you were able to give us a little bit of time. Again, we, you know, on this show, we've always loved to learn about people. Um, we've spoken with, a, a, you know, a number of pretty big names over the years and a, a number of pretty, you know, uh, a, you know, smaller names, but they're still plugging away, you know, which really goes to say, uh, you know, throughout the course of your career, you know, there's times where you're just pumping it. You can't produce enough. Right. And then there's times where you're like, OK, you know, I'm moving I'm moving over to here now where I've got a little mm-hmm. bit of free space a free time time to think well you know my whole dream i always wanted to be the the best radio personality that i could be i never dreamt of being anything else i wanted to be the very best right and i think i achieved the very best that i could be yeah and and it it turned out that radio uh was going away i mean uh who knew right who could ever imagine that the 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 radio business i was in was was morphing into something else so Mm -hmm. um fortunately i discovered voiceover and acting um because of Coming to Los Angeles, I got people uh, calling you out. You know, this is what they'll do in LA. They say, well, "What do you want to do?" I'm right. Like, I, know, I, was, I was already doing it. What, what do you mean? What do I want to do? <laughs> but um, I, I did get um, some opportunities to go in front of a camera and and uh, work that out. It's a very tough job. Right. But right. I, just, I was in Atlanta doing a show called "Your Pretty Face Is Going to Hell" on Adult Swim. Oh, I remember that. Your uh, pretty face is going to hell. Yeah. That's yes. insane. That shows you. You're a live actor in front of this gigantic green screen, like right. the size of an airplane hangar. Um, and then I did a pilot last year with, um, uh, Catherine Hagel, uh, which didn't go, but Hey, you know, get paid anyway. And the, I did a, an episode of the, uh, Connors, which was pretty exciting for me. Wow. John Goodman. Those guys. Yeah. You did, you were yeah. on an episode of that? Which so episode? The Con- yeah. The last episode of the 2018 season. I missed this past season, but, uh, so yeah, played, it, uh, is that uh, the one that Roseanne was still a I part of the art of a vending machine company that, uh, the vending machine falls on. Dan Connors, and so he's suing me. Ah, uh, yeah. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah. Well, you've got uh, a lot of great character in your whole show. career. <laughs> I know. I'd say uh, guilty pleasure. Well, I, well but that's what we love, man. Uh, again, so th- <laughs> you know, over the years, uh, you know, I, I just want to ask a geeky kind of a question. What? They're all when geeky. You, well, when you do your own show, you know, and you're you're running all of these characters through you know let's say a 20 minute loop here you how know how big is your boner well no <laughs> shut up <laughs> how, how, what does a genius boner look like no uh what i was gonna say is it, it, it is amazing i i just don't even know how you do it how your brain works where you can just take four or five people and jump them into this conversation along with yourself um well, where does that come from uh i i know we spoke a little bit about that but i wanted to revisit that particular part a little bit because it's 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 amazingly beautiful. It's like seeing a a star, you know, being born every every different wow. show. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, family. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Who's the guy you're with? Uh, I'm the Reverend. That was JB asking the question. Family uh, now. Why don't, why don't you just relax, Reverend? Okay. JB, um, to answer your question, yeah. It, you know, they say that necessity um, is the mother of invention. So. Yeah. I did it because I needed to do it because I didn't know any other way of creating uh, a literally a theater of, of characters and to present a play and or present a uh, uh, whatever you want to call it, a radio right. play in as record amount of time as I had to. So uh, how are you going to assemble all those people and have them do all exactly the same things that you want them to do? The only way I could do it was to do all the voices myself and to just uh, produce it and direct it or whatever you want to call it that way. That way I'm not... Um, frankly, uh, you know, having to take the time to right. get a whole bunch of people organized to do it themselves. So I, I suppose that that was a function of my personality, too. As, as a young person, I was very shy, and I didn't exactly know how to organize actors into this thing. Who, what radio station is going to uh-huh. hire me and five other people anyway to do this shit? So right. that was, um, it was, and so, and so doing it, I taught myself how to create realistic dialogue, where to take a breath, uh, how to create ambience. And in changing the ambience, you change the voice. And in changing the voice, you, you can change, obviously, the character, the person that it is. Right. And sometimes you don't have to manipulate your voice at all. You can just like, move a phone three inches away from the microphone or from where it was, and suddenly you have a completely different voice. Just all this shit that I learned experimenting that way. Yeah. And it was only, not because I wanted to be some revolutionary genius guy. It was only because I wanted to do all this stuff, and I didn't have the time or the resources to hire a bunch of actors to do it. You just had to but make it happen. Yeah. Yeah. I do myself. See, and I think that's brilliant too because it is, truly. Well, well, because I mean there's such a forward momentum 
in the in the radio style that you do because you know you're going on a little trip you know when you hear the conversation there's like you're getting in a little damn vehicle some kind of crazy uber is something's going on uh we're going somewhere this, this guy is knows that guy and that guy's making fun of that guy oh man uh and there's yeah. a couple of uh, females in the mix and so i just think man again you 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 are a superlative uh voice actor you are leading uh, by far the revolutionary radio uh, uh, voice. voice. You, you really like are, man. Thank you acting. so much for everything you've done over the years. Yeah, I don't, know that, I don't. I don't know where radio is going, though, man. I, mean, I don't know either. Yeah, <laughs> straight to <laughs> hell. I think. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you know. it got shut down by the but, COVID. Yeah. Well, it does. I don't know where the um, the entertainment. Uh, you know, I used to think that radio could do with three uh, formats. You know, music talk and personality talk mm -hmm. where you know you have a talk format that's political but what about a talk format that is personality driven like what you guys do right. i did um you know and they could have done that i think it would have been a, a good uh experiment but it really hasn't happened so i think the radio we'll see we'll right see. so i know you've yeah. been you've done a lot and i'm just wondering um if you remember what episode of uh, The Adult huh. Swim, Straight to Hell, and no, what, what part you episode. played. Because I, I love that show. And I, I mean, go ahead. I don't know. Stan the Man. Stan St the Man. Stan the Man. Okay. Stan yeah. the Man. I, I mean, I think there's only two seasons there, but Reverend. that was a great show. Well, very, uh, very creative for sure. I know, uh, oh. you know, you're out there, you're out west. Um, uh, things are probably, uh, the uh, relatively similar here. People are opening up and stuff, right? People are going out without their masks and all that stuff over there. Yeah, yeah, they want to die. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. You know, what, what, what is there to live for? Right. Uh, there's some, but uh, California enforces, like in Ventura County, they allow you to be on the beach, but you can't have, um, um, you cannot park it on the beach. You can run, you can walk, but you can't sit down. Ah, right. And um, I don't know, man. I, I go out with a mask. Um, yeah. I do. Market, supermarket, you go into the supermarket, they pretty much expect you to wear one. Yeah, and, but doesn't uh, it, how how much does it aggravate you? Like I was in a local store today, and I saw the manager, and I had to actually show him a meme, so I wasn't an asshole. But he was wearing his mask underneath his nose, and I was just like, "Oh, well, that's ridiculous!" I know. Ridiculous. So what I showed him was yeah. this meme of like wearing your mask under your nose is like wearing your underwear underneath your dick, and it's just a picture with yeah. your dick hanging out. And I just showed him that yeah. meme instead of just being an <sighs> asshole saying. And you know what? Immediately, okay. he moved his mask above his uh, nose, and it was the sure. goddamn. Well, I was going to give an example of that. I was going through Fort Lauderdale Airport because I was just in Fort Lauderdale uh, right. last last week, and I'm walking to the gate, and there's a cop and there's the JetBlue gate um, agent, and both of them do not have their masks on. So I said, <laughs> "How does this work? Uh, you know, what what are you guys doing?" I said, "Do you wear a mask, but the rest of us have to, but you don't." And well, uh, you know, uh, we should wear it, and the the gate agent put it on. The the cop didn't. I said, you just do whatever you want to do. And the cop goes, yeah. yeah. I said that that was fairly typical of the kind of arrogance that cops have anyway. I'm right. not a big fan of cops. I, I don't dislike them, but uh, I think as time goes by, they make themselves look worse and worse. And, and that was a situation where he just looked like a fucking asshole. Right. Yeah. And I took note of that and uh, walked on. Because what are you going to do? To cause any more trouble, he's probably going to want to, you know, yeah. see your ID, or look at your dick or whatever he needs yeah. to do. Or plan a, so a, a tiny uh, bag on but you. I, and, I, and when I came into the airport, I turned around and there were two Fort Lauderdale cops standing there fucking with their phones or doing something. They had masks around their neck. So I don't know what the message there is in Florida. I know they got a, unfortunately, you guys, you know, God bless you, but you got a real moron for a, a governor. Yeah. I don't know what his story is. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, well, and, and you, he's Rick Ocasek so, or Rick. Uh, Rick Ka Ocasek. Yeah. Rick, not Rick. <laughs> but you goddamn our previous Stupid yeah. fucking Rick governor, Scott, Rick saying. Scott, Rick Scott Jr. Oh, oh. oh that guy, yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh. He's, a, it, he's the offspring, the inbred of him is what our governor is today. Okay, that's the it's yeah. I, I just think people need to I, they got to decide. They've had eighty five children are now infected with a toxic shock type of a COVID disease in New York. Oh. It's children, so I would ask anybody going out and wanting to prance out there and be free. Are you going to take your kids with you? Right. Yeah. You know, if you want to really be free and you're so sick of the lockdown, you want to just, you can't take it and you think it's all fascist and Nazi and all this bullshit, take your kid out there too and see how long they stay healthy. Right. Yeah. Uh, because like I said, they got three kids that are dead in New York City from this disease that ha they haven't seen before. They haven't even seen this fucking thing before. It's a toxic shock yeah. type of COVID disease affecting infants and toddlers and small children. 
And uh, it, I don't know. It is horrible. Yeah, no, I know it is horrible. Yeah. And 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 you think that there were you know measures in place to prevent all this anyway? Instead uh, of buying a gun, uh, yeah, you gotta yeah, buy a mask. somebody shut the office down. Right. <laughs> oh the oh boy. Yeah, said, we don't want to fire you up. Do we don't want to fire you up. Black guy did. Huh? I, I, yeah, I don't want to fire you up, Phil. Uh, uh, yeah, don't worry about yeah, it, man. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we we barely uh, we're definitely focused on art, music, food, activism. Right uh, on. You know, and so that falls into the activism uh, kind of vein there. But man, yeah. you definitely uh, have an awesome career. I I'm going to keep following you totally. and, and looking forward to anything you do new. If there's any way, you know, uh, moving forward, we can give some shout outs on social or do anything on our end. You know, uh, after we close this thing down, because we're moving into more of a <laughs> A, uh, a purpose uh, driven <laughs> podcast. I'm wow, just, that I, sounds like I'm, well, yeah. I'm really excited. Pur- <laughs> I, I'm excited to see Stan the Man and then the uh, yeah. the refrigerator repair guy on the Connors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and see, look at your face. Yeah, because well, like, I mean, you got to. I, I, I congratulate. I congratulate you guys on the run ad. And uh, oh, thank you. You're going to be more. Are you going to be more like political? Is what you're saying? You're gonna well, more, no. Um, well, we're we're going to be um, uh, trying yeah. to help raise money for causes. We causes. Believe in. There's a for uh, ourselves second chance wildlife sanctuary place here in Florida. Oh, okay. So we're uh, helping. Then there's the third chance. The guy that runs that. And then the um, last chance. A- anyway, so yeah, so that's kind of what we're going to morph into instead of a weekly uh, type of uh, live in- internet radio type of production. We're going to go to more of a uh, a charity base. But anyway, but uh, w- I-, I love the fact that you were able to give us some time. Uh, please keep Me in too. touch with us in any way we can help. We will definitely do it. Uh, the legendary Phil Hendry, uh, you, Phil. the epic local legend supreme. Epic supreme local. Oh, epic supreme local. Yeah, it's you start don't know with- how to use words over there. Oh, <laughs> like so always no cool. sunny in Philadelphia. I got the Charlie, knowledge. You shut up, Charlie. I anyway, all right, <laughs> shut up over there. All right, all right. Phil, thank you so much, man. You're it's, welcome. Thanks, guys. Been a total honor for real. Yeah, without I, question. Yeah, I thank you for asking me. I really appreciate it. And well, yeah, I will. I'll, I'll give you a shout. If we got anything happening in the future? Yes. And so I can plug this on my podcast. It's your hell yeah show is that JB. The JB, JB West? Rev show. Yeah. The JB uh, Rev show. Sorry. I am JB Webb. And we'll, that, I'm, that I'm the, the Reverend. Reverend. Yeah. So and we'll tag JB you on, Rev. on Facebook and uh, I'll send you a message. Cool. I want to send you the awesome. link to uh, what I was talking about yeah. earlier. Um, yeah. Beautiful. But you yeah. are remarkable, my man. Yeah. Let us know. Light us yeah. up. If there's anything, I'd love to even collaborate with you in the future. But uh, yeah, we are uh, dorky, geeky fans of what you do. So, mucho appreciado. Totally. Uh, uh, you freaking rock. Uh, we're going to bump into uh, another song I think I have lined up here. It's actually a local. It's Hannah Barber and the Lionheart. So, nice. I get a little soft and romantic. Yeah. Um, but, uh, Phil, hang on the line with us as we bump away to this track. It is the JB Rev Show. We'll be back with a closing yeah. of uh, the end ed- uh, edition. Here we go. The devil walked in, blame it on him. He's a counterfeit lover that won't tell me where he's been. Still one me. Doubt came down, down my street. He don't stumble and he don't run, he just walks so steady. And he's headed straight for me. It's lonely and I'm losing time. around She 
great session that was really good man oh man so this our, being our final episode i want to say yeah. over the years too we've we've had conversation with so uh, conversation with so many important yeah people not only like here in orlando but across the country uh when the reverend first came on i was going to say in part of a prepared little session yeah. is that you know we uh y- you were graced by dj kiyoki and then yeah. uh uh horror uh, of thrill kill cult thrill uh kill what, kill. what's that guy's name from thrill? groovy man groovy man yeah and from fucking thrill horror kill cult. what about horror dude? and then horror yeah i mean oh. uh brandon pertzborn right um yeah you know who's even now people, he's the drummer for uh, marilyn manson now. right yeah. i mean so you know uh the guy uh from failure uh, yeah, Scott Kelly, uh, <laughs> dude. You know, so many people that we have spoken with uh, over the years that really, you know, ha- have uh, just been on point with their skill, and, dude, just, and, and they're thriving today. Right? Just your I mean, co-hosts that have been here, you know, to fill in for me, like Jeff Nolan, right, and Jessica Pauly, right. And um, who are some others? Well, uh, Jack DeMarco has Jack sat DeMarco, in for you, right. you know, uh, a couple of times. He's going to be doing breaking news badly tonight, right? I think so. I, th- I hope so. Gosh, it's the finale. He's gonna do it. Okay, so let's get him on the let's line. Let's just here, call him, I, man. He'll, I think he'll... I had to reject his call a couple of times. Did you really? I think I did. Yeah. Oh lordy. Let's see if we can get him back. Lord of mercy, you right, rejected we'll do some his breaking calls. news badly. We'll just go well, into yeah, it. Yeah, it's the last do fucking show. Last show, bro. Like a fucking Hello. Dude, man. Holy shit! Hey, oh, what's, what's up, Jack DeMarco? Jack DeMarco? Hey guys, how are you? What's up, buddy? Good. Hey, first and foremost, Jack. 
Love you. And uh, love you too. How's uh, <laughs> any? Uh, what's the update on our good friend, Mister Diggs? Oh, uh, still in a bit of a holding pattern. Oh, so, um, yeah, I know it's uh, dude. Poor kids on like a roller coaster ride. You too, emotions. though, and I mean all of us really, but <laughs> yeah, especially yeah, yeah. Yeah. especially Johnny. But there's yeah. no doubt. I mean, to be like, I mean, I was so excited when he when he first, you know, oh, dude. Oh, uh, you got you should have seen me here Thursday night when he called me. Like, I, 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 okay, I was so- like, I couldn't like I couldn't get my shit together to go pick him up fast enough. You know, and I'm like, oh my god, I forgot this, I forgot that, I got to go back inside. Like, wait, let me put on pants. You know what I mean? Like, right. I mean, really, I ran out of my house in my in my in my pajama pants. Like they're like you know, like silk red pants with roses on them. And my and I'm like I'm getting in my car. I'm like shit. I'm in my pajamas. My mom's like you should maybe go inside and put on a pair of jeans, honey. I'm like you think? She's like yeah, probably. <laughs> I'm like okay. <laughs> wow. Um, but yeah, you know. So yeah, it's tough for him, and you know, and and just you know. But I'm glad. I, as a friend, I'm glad I could be there for him. You know. That's and, a really uh, good friend for sure. I mean, well, and uh, and if people so, yeah, don't know, so, you know, you're talking about Johnny Diggs, uh, who was told, "Hey, we got a liver for you." He got there, they were like, "Oh, well, this liver's not good." And then now yeah, he's in the, he's back in there. They told him, "Hey, ding, we got ding, another, ding, ding, got another ding, liver ding, for you." Two. Yeah, yep, got another. Yep, ding, so ding, that's where you're two. at now. We were hoping right. to get good news. Anyway, but besides yeah, all that, so anyway, but yeah. still positive news. Um, yes. you know, I like I haven't heard anything different that it's not still moving forward. Just you know, later tonight you know as i think i last i heard was that like like looking they were looking at like towards 11 o'clock to maybe for it to for the surgery to start um wow. and i haven't heard anything since so you know we'll just uh you know keep our fingers yes. crossed and keep saying prayers that it, it comes I, through and it, you know this is uh really seems good. to be a common really quickly it seems to be like a common thing though for like transplants i've talked to other people who know people who've gone through liver transplants as well and sometimes it does take a couple of tries right um, but you know, the, the, his, his first one was Thursday, you know, and just within five days, you know, so he's still, you know, I heard it was looking, because they're looking to make it work and check this out. And this is a true story. I heard a lot of reason the, uh, transplants don't go through is because the doctors, by the time it comes in, that it's, you know, it's got a certain window that they're able to do it. And like the doctors like slack about it and they like <laughs> fucking, don't get there in time and shit. What? True story. I, I don't know if that's the case. I mean, I, I could, I mean, if you heard that, that could be very well true, but I did learn some interesting things like, um, like the, they, when the doctors harvest the organs from the, the, the donor, and that's what they call it. Harvesting. Right. Um, they harvest them from the donor. The liver is the last one to be taken out because it's the quickest one to become not viable once it's oh. out of the body. Oh, um, so that's mm. like, that's part of the waiting process. It seems like too, is like, if they have a donor, it looks like they're taking the other organs out first and getting Crazy. that moved, you know, cause the, they want to leave the org, uh, the, 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 the vascular attachment on the liver. That's why it's know, important to be an organ donor. Yeah. Yep. Yep. For yep. Real. Totally. Yep. Um, uh, I was, I had to go to the DMV this morning to get my tag and registration. I got pulled over actually on Thursday night on the way yeah. to go pick up Johnny to take him to Advent. Because my uh, the light above my license plate was out, and then on top of that, I, I was told my registration was expired. <laughs> wow. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. So anyway, so uh, I got that. I got. I, I got. Um, you know, I got uh, hooked up with an appointment this afternoon or this morning um, over at the DMV through some of my contacts in, in life and um, to get this taken care of okay. uh, and got it taken care of. But, and my point of that was, yes, some 16 year old girl, 17 year old girl, however, she looked young as fuck um, was there with her dad getting her driver's license. And I heard her say that, yes, she was signing up to be an organ donor. And I was like, oh. nice. do it. Fresh. <laughs> Fresh so, yeah. organs. Yes. So ah. after all that, I, I want to say uh, congratulations oh, oh. Oh. to you guys. Um, oh, yeah. And Thanks. JB, 10 oh, years. Uh, yeah. Uh, Rev. It's the last one. For, what, half, five of them, right? Rapping. Yeah. Hey. I post somewhere that hey. today's the, like you started on the first day it's that you're crazy. ending. That's pretty yeah. crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. Dude, that's crazy. Yeah. Amazing. We, congratulations we're, we're to both of you guys. We're ending on the day that he first started. Yeah. It's, that's yeah. so crazy. It's remarkable. And thanks for letting me join in for, you know, hey, a bro. season and a half. Thank you. I mean, it was been, it's been really yeah. cool. I've been really glad to know you guys and, and like really learned a lot from you guys and really like, you know figured a way to find my voice a little bit you know i was uh through through working with both of you guys yep. and watching you guys and learning from you guys and 
learning how to and, uh, uh, interact. Really fun. Uh, oh, you, you know, go. it was great. <laughs> Seriously, but just Jack, it's it's been great. Like you know, growing yeah. with you two every week mm-hmm. and uh i agree you know and like you know the way we you know it's just it's been great it's been a nice you know, transition and you know no. and, and, you and know, our friendship and grew you know. through that and i really enjoyed Wait, but do it you know for sure do you know though you know i do you know, I, I do know. you know so, but and congratulations you know. to both of you guys it's been it's been a great experience you guys yeah. do a great job well, thank and, you brother well and let's the next do one it. i agree with the rev let's start making some money on this next one let's just yeah. take a next level <laughs> you know go. what i mean We'll do a <laughs> AS, ASMR. ASMR. Breaking news. Well, I definitely want to raise money for people. Special uh, ASMR. Breaking news badly. Yes. I necessarily want to need to do money. Tingling down the side. Don't need the money right, to do enough. the money. Just throwing it out there. Just I got gotcha. you. Okay. Know? Well, that's, uh, no. there you go. Basically, what we've done is, you, you know, trying to be Robin Hood and shit, but that don't mean that Robin Hood ain't getting his dick sucked. So, I get your point. We'll make your spine okay. tingle. Right? Robin you know? Hood got to get his dick I sucked. I mean, yeah. I'm sure Robin Hood was giving away a lot of those coins, but, you know, he was keeping yes. enough of those coins to keep his merry men merry. That's a great... You know what I'm saying? That's a great point. Right? Yeah. So, uh, gotta have speaking it. of money and coin, oh. um, uh, I'm sure... <laughs> A, uh, you know, I've, for the past two weeks, I have brought some fun little, uh, lottery stories. This one's not as exciting as the other ones, but cute enough. A retired fighter of fire in North Carolina, um, uh, on his way to, uh, his, his lawnmower ran out of gas. So he stopped by the, uh, the local, you know, Jiffy Lube, Jiffy store, whatever, to, uh, pick up some, uh, some gasoline for his lawnmower, decided to buy a $2 scratch off and won a million dollars. Wow. Boom. What? Yep, retired firefighter, you know, just, I think so. yeah. that's it. So anyway, that's a fun little, uh, a little story there for, for winning, winning some like cash. It. Um, I think you now here's something, uh, okay. There, no, there were, that's why I said there was like some two, uh, different awesome. lottery stories about people. Right. One guy like, you know, uh, randomly bought a ticket twice, you know, not realizing he bought his same numbers and one, and then I forget the other one, but yeah. Uh, so check this out. <laughs> This uh, this Iowa man um, uh, received a postcard 33 years later after it was mailed. Um, it was his sister mailed him a postcard in 1987. Um, a hog farmer, Paul Willis, a hog farmer in Thornton, Iowa, uh, said it appeared from his mailbox. Um, appeared in uh, his mailbox. Was, appeared wow. the other day. Appeared, appeared, there, it disappeared. That's weird. It appeared. It appeared in his mailbox recently wow. from his sister, who mailed it from the Grand Canyon in 1987, yeah. wow. and it had a postmark from from San Francisco in December that year. So it made it, um, and then uh, all this, you know, the post, the second postmark was April 22nd of this year in Des Moines. What? So he called the post office. Yeah, so he called the post office for an explanation, and she said. And this is a quote from the article. Right. Well, the post office are going through, uh, are all going through deep cleaning because of COVID-19. So oh, they were cleaning and, you know, it must have fallen behind. She didn't know the details, but she oh. said, you know, they were doing some deep cleaning. So yeah. making the assumption it must have fallen behind like we a desk you. or something. We found your or, important correspondence uh, just laying it, on and the floor. Then, and, then, and, they, a... and then they mailed it out. I mean, luckily it was nothing important. Whoa. It was just, you know, his sister, we like, she wasn't mailing like, hey, I'm in the Grand Canyon. I'm stuck here. Some, you know, right. taken by a, a cult leader. And, <laughs> you know, please. Um, so, yeah. So <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, here's a. Uh, this is a short story right here for you. Um, okay. Edward Hernandez of Columbia this is the world's way. shortest man living. What? Uh, he hit, see what I did there? Um, Guinness World Record said Google Tuesday. that right now. It was, a, yeah, it was a, the world title record was awarded amid his birthday celebration as he turned 34. He is a uh, two feet, 4.39 inches tall. And now the officially the shortest man in uh, alive. Wow. So yeah, that's, that was just a, that was just a short one for you. Right. Um, now I know I told you guys about the uh, TikTok challenge going around. Oh my god, yeah. Um, about peeing in the pants last year. I mean last week. Yeah. Well, this new TikTok <laughs> one is moms are flashing their because ba- uh, men aren't the only ones excited to see boobs. Moms are flashing their babies the bo- their boobs and recording the baby's excited reactions. In this new TikTok challenge. Wow, that's fascinating. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So it's called the Drop Em Out Challenge. Okay. And, uh, you know, clearly, like, 
drop them uh, out. The, the, so the moms are filming they drop the babies out, and then they're taking... Yeah, on the back side of the camera while they're capturing right, while the, the child's the reaction. The baby's reaction. Yes. Because, you know, oh, shit, it's feeding time. The boobies are out. So, you know, if you go, Google, you Google that. We're predisposed to the, look at boobies. Google that right yeah. now. It's uh, NewYorkPost.com. Um, moms flash their babies to record excited reaction to boobs okay, and latest yes. TikTok challenge. So, yeah, there's all kinds of videos of reactions. Um, out there for, for that yeah. for you to check it out. Right. Um, speaking of boobs, a uh, strip club in um, uh, where is it here? Uh, strip yeah, club. Strip club in in, in uh, Virginia Beach, Virginia um, uh, reopened their strip club, but to yeah. keep with, you know, social distancing and, 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 and safety, uh, it's a drive through strip club. So there's, they put out these portable, like, you know, Four foot by six foot what? stages with poles. Yeah, they were and all they in, got strippers they got, out there and out there. And there's like you know metal like jersey barriers or whatever they're called, like those those bike barriers. You know, for like when when there's like a parade or something like that to keep you out of the street. Like those barriers are up, keeping the cars and men can drive okay. by and watch right. a little stripping. Wow, out of, you know, right. watch them shake that ass. That's right, shake that ass, yeah. shake that ass on that stripper pole. Yeah. Um, okay, drive through strip club. Thank you. That's a good one. Drive through strip club. What? No, I mean that's. So you guys familiar with uh, Alex Jones, the oh, right wing what? loony? Alex Jones. He oh got. He got. He. They took him off the internet. Everything he says is true. I right? mean, that's the, the yeah, whole point says, about it's him. So yeah. true. It's so true. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so true. Um, he. I don't know if you heard, but he had this recording um, mm. of of talking about how, like how he like he'll eat his neighbors. He's already got a plan to eat his neighbors so his kids won't starve. Oh, Have you no. heard this crazy? crazy Speaking rant? of kids, I can't hold this baby anymore. Oh, oh. my god! He, he, you got well. Oh. Anyway, if you Google, oh if you Google, uh, Alex Alex Jones, uh, a, replace Sorry. Alex Jones with Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. A YouTube video will come up of Chuck E. Cheese and it's dubbed over with this whole rant that Alex Jones did about um <laughs> What? Send me that link. Please send me that link. Yeah, let me send you that link. Did you watch um, the DJ Tennis that I sent you? The, I did. I listened to it when I worked out the other day. It was really uh, great. Did you see the other one, the first one that I sent you? The, that, that was the one Club I listened space? to, the first one. Uh, okay, you need to watch the second one. It's like a th- four hour long thing. It's fucking okay. amazing. And it's the visuals are incredible. Next time you get a buzz on and you want to see some killer visuals with amazing fucking music. Okay. Watch the, the well, space I didn't one. watch the first one. I only listened to it because I put it on when I was working out. Right. I only listened to it. Okay. But well, watch the second one. Well, what, the, the, one that's, the, the, the one that's, uh, uh-huh. the, the, the latest. Uh-huh. What, stop. Uh-huh. what are you doing, Jamie? Uh-huh. Jamie. The one, the, la- uh, the one that's from Club Space. Folks, we gotta, we gotta get good people okay, to stand up against these people. Duh. And then, uh, and then I have one more thing that you guys need to at home if you're out there listening that you need to Google um, KFC Radio on Twitter. KFC. Um, there's a video. Yeah, KFC Radio. It's like this guy's Twitter handle. Oh, I thought He's Kentucky got- Fried Chicken. Yeah, the, whatever. That's just like his thing. His like KFC Radio is his is his, uh, his, his Twitter handle. Uh, yeah. um, there is a video on here that he has of Jeff, a lookalike. It's a Jeff. This guy looks like Jeff Goldblum, and fighting this other shirtless dude and this Jeff Goldblum lookalike knows some serious karate and just like kicks the crap out of this like random shirtless dude as they're fighting on the street. So some random video, but it's really funny to watch this like Jeff Goldblum because it's. Wherever I found this link, it said something about Jeff Goldblum getting in a fight. So of course, I clicked on it because, you know, why wouldn't I click on it? It was like this. Why um, wouldn't you? Because why wouldn't you? And then it came to this, like, silly video of this of this lookalike. But, you know, um, that that's that. So, yeah, okay. so that's, uh, that's me breaking right. the news badly. I got some, over the, over I got the, some for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, here comes one from melmagazine.com. What does it mean to get a penis transplant from a dead person? Nobody cares. The science of dick dick (laughs) transplants is least complicated thing about gender affirmation bottom surgery for trans men. There you go, uh, melmagazine.com. Oh, you, you, you buried that fucking lead, bro. You definitely broke that poorly because that's <laughs> that's a real distinction right there. That yeah. it's like it's not like it's not like dudes. It's not like getting Lorena bobbited and like needing a dead dude's dick. It's totally it's like, like 
Yeah, it's Ma- like female to male yep. transgender yep. Yep. operators are using cray, to cray. see if they instead of like this like cray, trying cray. to use their cray, cray, I see what you're saying. <laughs> cray cray girl. Oh, yeah, really, I, I mean, seriously. Hey. For you real? know what? what? If the science is there, it's so on. Why, why, You're gonna why? use some dead guy cock <laughs> to be a, to be mean, a man. If she's, if, if she's a girl oh. and she's going through hormones and yeah. got the testosterone, okay. and it's all gonna work. And then all she right. can get it hard and and bang somebody, and that's what she wants to do, or he wants to do, I guess. If we're gonna use the correct pronouns, oh. if they're going hey, through the surgery, Jack, then he. You've been yeah. listening to past episodes, right? And I learned how to play guitar. You know. <laughs> Like, and I've gotten really good. And so, look, this is what I learned today. Here we go. I want to hear something. And then I get get this one, too. Yeah. It's my my sexy ASMR one. Like that? Sounds great. Thanks, man. I like that. I've been uh, practicing. So, yeah. JB's got one more (laughs) breaking news badly. I've got a couple of more. No, he's only got one more. Audio visual uh, one. Speaking of ASMR, audio uh, visual. Audio visual. Oh, are we uh, multi uh, quasi uh, quasi. We're going quasi radio. Quasi up in here. radio. You're, the, you're the first one to do that. You know that. Here we go. Quasi radio. This is uh, Soap Cubes ASMR. It's someone taking a ASMR. Very sharp exacto knife <laughs> and uh, cutting soap that's already been cross cut. <laughs> So they're doing the final cross cut on a bar of soap. And that's the sound it gives off. ASMR. You like that? I love it. Oh, oh my yeah. Fuck it. It's a me. I feel it inside me now. Can you? Oh, yeah. Deeper. It's right there. Right. Oh. Touch the taint. Okay. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's uh, a fresh... Did you say touch the taint? <laughs> Damn right I did. Did you say? With your that's tongue, a... motherfucker. <laughs> You win. (laughs) Touch the tame was our keyword for this episode. You're the winner. Touch the tame. There you go. This is like a two hour video. Wait, 18 minute video. I thought it was called the the Grundum. No, it's the Taint Tester. No, No, Taster. Taint Tester. Enforcer. I'm the Taint Enforcer. There you go. To leave that on in the background, I guess. Anyway. Anyways, uh, yeah. And then I got this one, uh, which one. I think is... I'm the- bringing things to the door, she said. Well, I was on the phone, cooking me and my baby some breakfast. And she said, hey, something wrong is popping. I said, Super loud. Yeah. I said, no. So the girl come downstairs, she talking about her pool, her baby with no shoes on. I said, oh, girl, it's cold outside. She said, come in right. I said, oh, man. She said, oh, man. The building is on oh, fire. I said, no. Well, I got my three kids that we There's like uh, the jazz scale <laughs> of that uh, whole news interview from the not past. Today. That not today uh, news interview. Uh, anyway, that was so, really loud. And then though. I got it was a little loud. So sorry. Really. Uh, loud. And then I got a potential uh, article here that will explain the release of coronavirus. Uh, it is uh, an article from. Uh, let me take take a look. Ancient. Dash origins dot com. Well, are you gonna release how ancient is it? Ancient oh, dash origins smell like shit. Dot com. Uh, yeah. A Chinese boy accidentally finds sixty six million year with old so many nourishing dinosaur. Shoes, a color egg. change is easy. Color wow. change is easy with that though. Yeah, color change is easy. <laughs> oh man! Uh, so sixty six million year old dinosaur egg. Wow. Uh, could that? Wow, that's crazy. Have that's released crazy. the coronavirus. Man, I don't and that's know. what they're saying. I mean, that's some next level thing, some conspiracy shit. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, all right. I don't need well, uh, breaking news badly. There hey, it is. That was bum, good. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, PhilHendry.com. Uh, what's the other guy? Hold on. Who do we talk uh, to? Uh, Jim Bronzo. So wait, I, I have another question. But so then, what's yes. next? JB Rev, I mean, are you got you that thing? You're going to take a break. You're going to you're thinking about coming back. We'll be back in a, about a month just to do a recap of the season. Uh, that's probably not what's going to happen, but that's what's uh, happening. We'll it's be probably be, back. I'll do it from my house as soon as we. Can. I got two other co-hosts lined up. No, nope. we're doing it. It's going to be called the JB 
Uh, it's gonna be called the Rev Maybe JB Show. The Rev, <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going. The Rev Maybe JB Show. Okay, you're gonna do it. We're doing it. The, yeah, off the Rev. Your own Maybe JB thing, Rev Show. Your own thing. All yeah, right. <laughs> the Rev Maybe okay. JB Show. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Rev, uh, the maybe Rev, JB. maybe JB. Yeah, that's good. All right. Well, but I've Show. been doing it so long, and I'm just like, oh Show. my god. You know, let's uh, if I can wrap this up because every single week is Tie little live. Bow. Every single week, this ball sack. Uh, we've got to make sure that we hit the mark oh, on the head. Hit that mark. Uh, we yeah, had, yeah. You know, we've had technical issues on oh this god. episode alone. We had a call back, <laughs> Phil Hendry, as it was. So it's like you know, we're not trying to. Uh, uh, you know, hide anything from anyone, uh, you know, but moreover, I guess we're uh, certainly not looking you. for, uh, acclimates well, but thank or, you, Orlando. Uh, yeah, no, but thank you, Orlando <laughs> for listening. We've got hundreds, money. hundreds and uh, thousands of hours of people that have listened to the productions under WJVW networks.com. Yeah. And to me, that means a lot. Bottom so, line. It's the COVID-19 that put us under. <laughs> yeah, There's no doubt. There you go. You know, We're everything gonna, that's gone can on. Can we get some money from that? I mean, we just try to finally get, finally get a big payroll yeah. from this nonprofit I mean, church. All the money yeah, that we a lost. Non-profit. We're a, over the past. a church of local. <laughs> We're a church of Ridiculous. local art. So we, yeah. we're going under. We're going under. But with our heads held but high. You, we're going to do a telethon Phil Hendry. this summer. So Last episode. Keep a yeah. look out for it. this it. summer. We 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 are going to do some kind of telethon, old school call in type of deal. So uh, hang tight for that. And uh, in so listen, the meanwhile, it's after nine. And watch Jacks on the on the phone. This is my gift to you. JB. What is it? This what is this, about? Uh, beautiful. Uh, oh, are you serious? Yeah, dude. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, what a lovely uh, presentation of a lighter yeah. he is presenting is, me uh, with, Jack. Wow, it's, been, it's a glorious. I've cigar had that for about twenty years. Fishing. Uh, wow. What kind of lighter is it? It's, it's fancy. Like, uh, really, I can't even use yeah. it. Hold on. How do I use like, it, like Reverend? A, like a Zippo, or no? It's, it's like a, really fancier than that. Yeah. Uh, so look, you got to do it like this. How do I use it? Oh my yeah, god! Open it up like okay. this. Yes, and then okay. you're gonna flick this up, one like that. Flick that like and that. Then you can. Uh, okay. Wow. Cl- well, what kind of uh, just regular lighter fluid? It's uh, if you look on the bottom, you yep. can use butane. Okay. And it, you put the butane. Ooh, in the wow, bottom. what a glorious gift! Right? I uh, that's, uh, that's a little token of my appreciation. I didn't you know, realize that. that uh, An old school butane lighter. Very nice. Oh my god! No, it's like, dude. It's like uh, you need to take a picture of it. JB wow! And, uh, but uh, now I have to put it on get the, yeah, you. take a picture. Put it on oh the man! Now I have to give you with something. Uh, okay, give me it. Hold on. Oh, there you go. That's good. I like that. Mm. Perfect. Oh, uh, Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Coco. Let Pop. me get it. Hold on. Uh, he's actually going to leave to go get. He, he's. I, I I guilted him into to giving me a gift. To giving you something. Yeah, and because uh, what this gift I got, I, I, pff, dude. Found in the garbage the other day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I really have had it for like 20 years, but it's like something I've I've never used before. No way, really? Oh my god, this is fucking amazing. What is it? Wow. Wait. Describe. Oh. Wow. Really? Yeah, dude. It's Holy like shit! So he's given me uh, a Will's Pub, and you know what's crazy about this shirt? He's giving me a Will's Pub uh, T-shirt, the Evil Knievel shirt. Yeah. Oh. With mm-hmm. uh, you know, the number one evil can evil, which awesome, dude. Yeah, I was uh, dude, buy this myself, and he's wearing a dirty laundry shirt right now too. Oh well, the there Epic, you go. Uh, and and then holding. also, wow. um, the the Percy Faith and his orchestra. Uh, I concentrate on you. So this, what you listen to that? Yeah, how do you know you listen to that? How did you know I listen? You to listen this? to that? I got some friends. Yeah, and- dude. I you totally listen, listen to, to that. this. Yeah. Uh, so you and listen to that, brother. dude. You have no idea. You listen. Like, yeah. You just uh, listen. see. You bring anyway, him back Nardwar. Uh, yeah. The yeah, Nardwar, Nardwar thing. Yeah, you the, totally uh, got yeah. the Nardwar on uh, me, bro. So I kind of Nardwar you there. You totally Nardwar me. See, and what's crazy? So Jack, this would be a great question. Have you ever heard of Nardwar, Jack? I have not. Oh my god! So That's- check this out. I and the reason this came up in my feed. Check this out. This is a great story. Is I was listening to um, uh, Psychic TV, right? And um, um, Genesis P. Orridge, 
who uh, was part of Psychic TV, and then did MASH, which is Meet Every Situation Head On. Meet Every Situation Head On. It was, like, way ahead of its time. And the whole uh, Jack the Tab with fucking um, this whole, like, acid house uh, phenomenon that was going on, like, 84 and 85. And Genesis P. Orridge was way ahead of, like, everybody on this. And um, because I was watching that in my YouTube feed came up this interview with Nardwar and Genesis Peoridge, who Genesis was one of the first people to like altered his image and put like got tits and like was one of the first gender crossifications. Do you know who I'm talking about right now, Jack? By the no, I really don't. I'm oh, actually, okay, I okay. Not know any of this. So, dude, there's this whole history of like you know like electronic music and Genesis Peoridge, and he just recently or she just recently died um, back in March, right when this whole thing was happening. And because of that, it came up in my YouTube feed. And this guy that was interviewing him or her uh, was just like this crazy fucking like jackass. And she was even like, what the fuck are you? And then all of a sudden he like had this amazing knowledge about like what Genesis like. I fucking learned shit about Genesis that I had no fucking idea. Like how, um, oh my God, I'm gonna have to send you the interview. The shit that, that Genesis was a part of and, like, fucking the Sex Pistols and Malcolm McLaren and, like, um, uh, he, he was, like, he's met the Queen and just, like, all this incredible fucking Even amazing shit. History of Genesis before Phil Collins, right? I mean. No, shut up. Okay. What? It's not that Genesis. <laughs> but check this out. Okay. So he got his start, like, uh, he was started in, like, 88, 89. And in 93, he was able to interview, he interviewed Courtney, um, Courtney Love a couple times. And he was also able to interview Nirvana late night with um, Kurt. And whenever he does an interview, he comes with, like, knowledge that, like, the knowledge he gets, he so digs deep so deep, so fucking deep. Person. And then he brings gifts, like these fucking really rare gifts that just blows their minds. Dude, Jack, I have been binging on this motherfucker, Nardwar, for the past, like, week. Spell it? Nar- N-A-U-R, Nardwar. N-A-U-R-D-W-A-R. And you want to put Nardwar yeah. Genesis. And that interview is what got me hooked. But, I mean, he, like, dude, it... it like, so he's Canadian and he's so famous that like whenever like really awesome and anybody you can think of, like from the nineties or the eighties, he's interviewed and they expect like there's actual, um, uh, things you can look up on YouTube called Nardwar blows minds. And he's, there's like four different volumes of like these rappers that he, and we're talking well, like, like Pharrell, like for uh, but like really hardcore really, rappers yeah. like that, like, you know, well, to like break their fucking, their ego. He goes, and they're like, he did. And they're like, Oh no, my he God. He just basically goes up to them with some kind of object that really has a deep striking tone to who yeah. they are. And that's how this dude starts Blows out the interview. And he's mind, like, dude. Hey, what's up? Hey, here's this thing. I want to give you X, Y, Z album from one, two, three. Yeah. You know, like, Oh my God. And they're like, Oh my God. I really? can't believe you're giving me this. You know, yeah. like, this is the first thing I did, you know, like, yeah. in the case with Pharrell, he gave him his first, like, booty shake uh, uh, really? LP. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, dude, it was crazy. Uh, anyway, the, but like the Reverend saying, it is a great, uh, th- this it's guy so good. is a great, uh, I'll send you some uh, links, but the uh, Genesis approach to people. Well, because it's watch the Genesis though, something because so deep in people, uh, because music <laughs> is super important totally. and I want to use this as a segue, you know, while Jack's on the phone too, to kind of publicly thank you so much by the way for this this well, is great i want to publicly thank the reverend man um, oh, i think dude. about the fact that dude literally 5 years ago to this day homeboy is over here talking to me we're doing a local legend interview cuz uh, he's dj and i'm learning about him to now here we are we're ending our 10th season bro i i just really i love you so much man. i love you too man you gave me a part of your life you gave me five years of your life over here to oh. just do nothing but promote <laughs> other people i mean of course we had like our little you know uh you know personality side and shit like that but yeah. dude you came you rode shotgun on a, a, at least this for the last five years of Don't make just me cry. well just dumping love on people you know just yeah. bukkake in love on people <laughs> just total bu- love bukkake no but that's i'm serious that's love what the show is uh, i mean we talked to you know so many people over the years and and that's all we do we're curious 
uh, okay. we're passionate. And you have a really uh, great knowledge of music, Rev. You yeah, really you do. Really you do. Really dude, dude, so thank you, you really so much, man. I wanted wide, to say wide, that too. Wide, wide it, it, it really couldn't have worked out better. So I'm so glad, you know, it was like a year in, uh, from 15 to 16 that we were like, Hey, let's change the damn name of the show to JB Rev show. You know, and yeah. that's what we did in 2016 and moving forward ever since there, you know, our badass, uh, stickers, we still got shit done of stickers here, uh, yeah. you know, but there's stuff that we can do, uh, to bring in money for causes that we are all about, uh, yeah. really, I think is what we're going to transform the show into. Uh, so, you know, future events based on, you know, helping organizations that are working to survive, you know, let alone this hey, climate, but offhand, well, maybe, after maybe. this climate, that's a great thing to do. I mean, given the COVID-19 situation, I mean, a lot of companies and places are probably going to need that kind of help. Maybe a little fundraiser for Johnny Diggs, you know, recovery too. I, everything is possible, Rev. Yeah. I mean, listen, you know, uh, some friends of his talked about it, like some other friends of his, of course you guys are friends of his as well. <laughs> um, some other, like, you know, some of the musician friends of his <laughs> also reached out to me about it. Um, and I actually, you know, brought it to Johnny too. And, and, you know, and, and he originally at one point had mentioned like waiting till after the surgery. And cause that's when he's probably going to need some help. Right. You know, cause after the, uh, you know, cause right now, you know, got in, you know, Medicaid, Social security well, things are helping things out. So, but yeah, so I would love to uh, do that. And I know we have some musician friends who would definitely get involved in doing something like that. Well, that would yeah. be a great one to start off a fundraiser. I just think uh, any anything we can do kind of moving forward that's really based yeah. on a direct benefit to people. So the first thing with this Screaming Peacock Festival, whether part of it is physical and also online, that's going to be a huge deal for us. Uh, we're working with a bunch of oh, local that's still people. Going forward, uh, for yes, the, yeah, the, so that, we're going to do that down, over the his, summer. I forget his name. Yeah. What's the, what's, uh, what's Jim, the Bronzo. Name? Bronzo. Jim Bronzo. Yeah, Bronzo. Yeah. All right, so we're wrapping this up, man. This is the big anyway. finale. So, uh, Jacko, thanks. Well, buddy. yeah. Hey, guys, I will. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna bow out right now and just right. say thank you again and let you two oh, have yeah. your like little moment to right. say goodbye and, and close right. everything down. All right. Love you guys both you, so buddy. much. Learn so like much, you. and uh, thank you for all, all right. this. And, right. and we'll be in touch soon. You rock. I'm gonna send you all some right. links. So let's uh, keep cool. in touch. All right, buddy. All right. Bye bye. Hello. This is Dr. ASMR. How may I help you? Wow. Would you like me to do an examination? Well, not Possibly quite Possibly your eardrums. Would you like me to torture you? This is a, like, five-year-old girl singing, I uh, wonder what's inside your butthole. Maybe there's astronauts inside my butthole. All right, thank you. Hey, if I send you a link yeah. via uh, your messenger. Yep. Um, there you go. Yep. Play that. This is uh, the Unknown Hints, and it's only like two minutes long. Oh, uh, okay. And this is uh, this is the voice. So we were talking with Phil Hendry earlier, um, and he was on Squidbillies, and this is the main character. This is a um, YouTube video? This is a sure. YouTube video. It's only 52 seconds. Yeah, and it's great. This is uh, him. Remember I told you he's a okay. guitar prodigy, yep. Unknown Henson, and he does the voice of uh, Early, yep. on uh, which is the main squid. <clears throat> yeah. Play this, because this is uh, just how awesome he is on guitar. Okay, hold on. This is really cool. And if uh, you get a chance, actually look it on YouTube because the visual is pretty cool too. But I'll go him. ahead and, and like it. So through my little <clears throat> Twitter, it'll cross post it there out there. There you go. Turn up a little. Well, I told you any damn idiot can make that racket. There ain't nothing to that mess. There ain't a damn thing to it. Let's, it takes talent to play country western. It don't take no damn talent to play that mess. I mean, a damn 15-year-old punk can do it. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, that's fucking killer. Right there you there. go. Okay, that was your revelation. Fifty-two yeah. seconds. No, that wasn't that was my revelation. Shortest. That was the- my revelation. So let's let's end on that. Uh, uh, tonight. It's the one before that, which is uh, Pablo Picasso. I don't have it. Yeah, you do. It was the one before that. I don't have it. You sure, on your yeah, messenger. Pretty sure. Hold on. Let me go yeah, here. Look, let me look try. Again. Let me try to find it's it right over there. here. It's right above. No. Oh, look. It's right here. That's what it looks like. Right above. Oh. Yeah. I'm not on there. You, well, Hold that's on. how you got this. Uncle Henson, I got Fraggle Rock on Spotify. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> right, got, let me see yeah. if I can get your... Hold on. Yeah. This is uh, what I remember. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay. Mm. So, hey. This is the finale. We're going to come back and do a sponsor crawl. Yeah. Listen. JB Rev Show. Reverend's Revelation. That's right. See ya. Some people try to pick up girls, get called an asshole. This never happened to Pablo Picasso. Why he could walk down the street, girls could not resist his stare. Pablo Picasso was never called an asshole. Not like you. Girls would turn the color of an avocado When he'd drive down the street in his El Dorado Why he was only five foot three Girls could not resist his stare Pablo Picasso was never called an asshole Girls get called an asshole. This did not happen to Pablo Picasso. Why he could walk down the street? Girls could not resist his stare. Subsequently, Pablo Picasso was never called an asshole. No. Not right here. Not like you. Hottest.com, Shannon Holt Art.com, Orange Blossom Brewing.com, 
A12Boutique.com, BadassSandwiches.com, Infotainment.com, Kush Ultra Lounge, Dank Orlando City Smoke Shop, Orlando Art Army, Iron Cafe, Iron Cow Cafe, thank you, Katmandu Winter Park, GroundingRoots.com, EarTheater.USDJS.com, Nora's Wine Cigars.com, LittleIndies.org, and Remix Record Shop.com. Thank you so much. Season 10 of the JB Rev Show keeps rocking. That's how we do it. The local businesses are awesome. Thank you. Okay, uh, last little final little bit here. I got about a 45, 45 second, uh, no, 45 minute what? mega 45 bit. Minutes. Yeah, mega bit compilation. It's a bunch of the bits that we have done 
over the years. Uh, so I'm going to roll into that live here uh, in just a second. But again, thank you uh, most sincerely to all of the people over the years that have worked with us in one way or another. Uh, we'd love to hear from you again at some point down the line. So keep in touch through social media. But uh, we think that what you've done uh, to push things forward in art, music, food, activism is truly uh, is true is truly powerful. So uh, thank you again for doing that. Uh, here is uh, thank you, brother. Thank you, uh, Reverends in studio. There he is uh, doing a little video. Anyway, so here we are with about uh, 45 minutes of content. It's a megabit compilation. Um, you got anything to say, Rev? I just, I love you, bro. It's I been, love you, bro. Well, I love you too, man. Thank you for the gift. You rock. Uh, you rock too. Fucking uh, enjoy this, everyone. We'll see you over the summer. Yo, yeah. yo, 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 yo. WJVW. You don't want to <laughs> The electronics are so predominant that people would really prefer that. With the way things are in the world, why keep investing in gold and silver and things that can eventually corrode away? Negative bonds. Negative bonds are the newest way to invest. People will always have negative bonds. Susie hates Johnny. Johnny hates Susie. They talk about it to their friends. Your negative bond accrues interest, and all of a sudden, you're a rich millionaire who could care less about people than negative bond about poor people without bonds, which increases your negative bond. So invest in negative bonds today. Negative bonds is not a subsidiary of the New York Stock Exchange or any real exchange. So be careful when you invest. Tune in to Charlotte Web weeknights at 7 on Channel 7. Here's a taste of what you get. Charlotte Webb, and I'm here today to talk to you about beauty tips and fashion tips. And uh, I want to start with just a homemade recipe that I really love that's just like the best for my skin. It always looks so glowing because I take horse shit. My favorite beauty treatment is to take a whole beehive, you know, with the bees in it and stick it in the Vitamix and then... And then just smear that all over your face and also your ass because your face and your ass has the same amount of skin uh, generally per cheek. It's like your face could be your ass, actually. And I really appreciate men's, uh, you know, facial hairstyles. And I think that the most chic one is to, you know, leave the five o'clock shadow from the jawline up and then just shave down off of the cheekbone slightly and then just have the neck shaved and then just slice that sucker off with a mate cleaver. <laughs> this is Charlotte Webb. I hope that you enjoyed the show today, folks. And you can follow me on Twitter at twitter.com backslash I'm a Twitter Webb. That's Charlotte Webb, weeknights at 7 on Channel 7. Are you tired of boring energy drinks? Yes, so bored. Then you should try Demon Semen, the energy drink from hell. The energy drink from hell, demonically enhanced with demon semen, power vitamins, so much sugar and chemicals, your body will explode with energy. Really? You could run a 10K marathon, no problem, with three new flavors, grape, strawberry, and the pink one for girls. Demon semen energy drinks. Coming to a store near you this summer. It's getting hot in here. Pre order online, demonsemen.com. Beals about, Beals about, Beals about. But, you know, I, my mom was lonely. And I don't know why. I guess because I'm still inside of her. I don't know. I don't know why she should be lonely. But she found this Christian dating site. It's called Christian Shingles. <laughs> What? what? Why are you laughing, what? man? You mean Christian Mingle? No, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> Crazy mean? psychos on Christian Mingle, man. Oh, my God. It's uh, called Christian oh Shingles. God. It's a better odds, man, for for an older <laughs> person anyway. Uh, you know, it's called ChristianShingles.com. Uh, you know, back in the day when they would get smallpox and shit. Right. It's like... <laughs> 
five in every ten people was going to come down with the shingles. Okay. <laughs> it's a deadly kind of real horrible disease. It sounds horrible. It is painful. It hurts. Okay. It's called, uh, it's really burns, like Johnny Cash's song, uh, Love is a Burning. Nope. Burns, burns like Nothing. the ring of fire. Nothing like that. It was like that. Okay. But Christian shingles is all for people like about 50 and 60, maybe even in the 40s when they got the smallpox, because it lives in all of you, like herpes. And uh, it's called Christian shingles. Okay. And so you can actually meet up with people that had the smallpox. That's, smallpox is like one of the questions they it's ask. A, it's you. like a speakeasy for hooking well, up. With hooking you. up, man. Because you know what? You want to be around people that are going to have shingles. I guess. You don't want to be with somebody. Do that, you? Yeah, kind of you, you do. You want to be like you have shingles, I have shingles? Yeah, it's like a compadre thing, okay. man. You piss me off with your listening and all that. Get the fuck off my channel. We're going to start a subscription. A Patreon, if you will. You pay us to piss you off, you fucks. I don't want your money because I don't want you to listen. Son of a bitch. You are such a piece of crap. For even paying attention to this shit. What would your mama think? You son of a bitch. How do you even know how to operate the internet? It's www. All one word. Shut the fuck up. Dot. Eat it. JB Rev Show. Let me make sure the caller is pumped up enough. All right, so this uh, this is going to be a quick call, uh, about five minutes, and we thank you so much for doing this. Uh, we have someone prepared to read Donald Trump tweets in the voice of Forrest Gump. So this is our Forrest, uh, Forrest Trump special uh, uh, part-time uh, little hello. bit here. Hello. Hi. Hello. Thank you for doing this. All right, so you're going to read hello, us Jenny. some tweets you've pre-selected. We'll just go ahead and give you the floor, sir. All right, that's nice. <laughs> so basically, uh, yeah. sorry losers and haters, but my IQ is one of the highest, <laughs> and all of you know it. Please don't feel so stupid or insecure. It's not your fault. Donald J. Trump. Forrest Trump. <laughs> <laughs> very good. All right, very good. Uh, what a, you, got, you got a couple more for us? That's great. Well, I continue to keep on running for 2020. So please do vote for me. Mm, okay, <laughs> I missed that. One. All right, so give me give us. That's another. all I gotta say about that. Uh, okay, that's, that's all. all. That makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, give us one more, or give us a couple more, if you would, Forrest Trump. Uh, Forrest <laughs> Trump reading uh, Trump tweets. Uh, is this going to be a current one, or uh, we'll, we'll guess if it's current or uh, or what have you? Go ahead and read your next tweet there, Forrest Trump. Uh, windmills are the greatest threat to the U.S., to both bald and golden eagles. Mm -hmm. Media claims fictional global warming is worse. Mm -hmm. You're right. <laughs> that really works. That, that's not real. Global oh. warming is not real. We oh. all know that. Oh, uh, yeah. Forrest Trump. So you also believe what Trump believes, yeah? Uh, okay. That is correct. Okay. <laughs> but only that's what they said on the TV. A little slower, maybe. Okay. <laughs> well... All right. Well, my man, uh, that was a great little bit. We appreciate you doing that. Uh, you got any clue? You got another one to close us out here with? With uh, Forrest Trump. We're talking with Forrest Trump right now on WJBW Networks, <laughs> WJBWNetworks.com. That's all I got to say about that. Thank you. Okay. Oh, you don't have one what? more? No, Forrest come Trump. on, man. Forrest Trump, come on. One more Dude. Forrest Trump. Oh, yeah, Forrest Trump. Trump always USA. has one more thing uh, to yeah. say, man. Come, come on. One more tweet. Come on, one dude. One more tweet. Come on, something about <laughs> Kim Jong, his buddy. Don't lose character either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, keep your character there. You slimy piece of shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's not very nice. No, no. but okay. it's true. Let Forrest Trump. <laughs> do his thing, Reverend. <laughs> Deal with uh, the truth. Dad. Come on, go Try ahead, Forrest Trump. We got a couple minutes less than we had when you wouldn't start a minute ago. So Loser. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, I only prepared yeah. so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. All right. Well, we'll let you out. Is. We'll let you out. Yeah. Just will, like the president. More material next leave time. us wanting only more. Only prepared well, so much. Talk you know. about the fucking airports. Right. In the okay. 1700s. <laughs> all right. Well... <laughs> All right. Well, Forrest Trump, thank you so much. That was a a fun, productive, happy uh, call. So we thank you for for doing that. All right? You're welcome. Uh, Thank you. There he goes. Don't call again. That was fun. I think that was fun. He he had a few few, few quotes prepared uh, from Mr. Trump. He makes Uh, me feel like I I don't even have... But I did find something out, man. I kind of, you know, being in that uh, Center for Drug Free Living, I met all kinds of people. Okay. And one of these things, it's like a business I think my mama should start out, and it's called oh, no. uh, it's called uh, Duber. Uh, because <laughs> the- there's, well, you heard of Uber, right. right? Uber is okay. Uber right. is like this like car rental place where you, if you're too drunk, you call Uber. They come okay. get you up. You're safe. Yeah. yeah, yeah well, there's yeah. this new drug thing, man. It's called Duber. <laughs> okay. And it's like you rent your car what out. Is that? You take your car. You uh, give the keys to the. You have a car. You, you have, have a car. Have a car. You have to have okay. a car, man. You have you to can't... have a car to yeah, yeah, give yeah. for what? Yeah, even a motorcycle. Will oh, okay. Do. Any kind of moving vehicle. Any Duber. It's any called. Duber. It's Duber. 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 Okay. Yeah, Duber. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. And they do not do any background no checks. No background checks. No. No okay. drug tests and nothing. Of course nothing. not. No. Of course, because uh, that would. What does it do? Because it sounds dubious. Well, it's Duber. It's Duber, man. It's dubious. Well, you give your keys to the drug dealers, right? And then you give them your car, and then they rent your car out for a whole day from you, man, like maybe eight, ten hours. And how they pay you is with the drug. What? They pay you with the drug of your choice, like crack, heroin, cocaine, marijuana. And it's just a way to keep it clean, keep it off the streets except for your car. Uh, But the only downside to Duber is uh, not getting your car back. All right. All right. Alrighty. So my mama, you know, saw this ad. It was called a Center for Drug Free Living. Okay. So we waited out there for like we filled out all the paperwork, ma'am. We was it was some kind of crazy people that we was encountering. Mm-hmm. You know, like like people really sick and shit. And and I was like, Mama. And she's like in her head, like, wow, I could th- feel her thoughts. She's like, drug free, <laughs> living, like, wow, drugs right. are free. Oh. So we waited like seven oh, hours. Not, no. You, you thought no. it was free drugs? Well, of for course. Life. Free drugs for life. Yeah, man, we were waiting. There was free drugs, right? We get but up there, there was, and it is total opposite what of what they thinking, were saying, right? man. Yeah. It, was like, uh, it was like living without drugs. It was okay. horrible. It was horrible. Um, there was no free drugs there. Okay. It was, uh, it was like, man, the right, right to work just shit. wrong. Okay. It was like the right it was to work just shit. totally wrong, not what you were expecting. No, Maybe man, it was seven hours living. trying to get a score. Wait, and, but, it, but it says free of drugs. No, it says the, center. Life free of drugs. No, living. No. Living they, a life free. They just free. advertised themselves. Okay. Oh. They said center for drug <laughs> free living. Okay. Yeah, okay, I that implies see. to me drugs right. should be free. Right, I see what you're... Okay, because right. we're broke, you right. know, and we're like, why not? You know? The Exorcism Exercising Diet. Hey. Hey, how you been? You're I've, looking great. Well, what do you think is going on with me? I don't know. You're just looking fantastic. I mean... <laughs> I lost a while out of weight. You're just going to ask me how? I do want to ask you how. How did you do it? <laughs> I was exercising my demons. What? I went to the church and I uh-huh. found out that I was carrying a lot of demons. Okay. They put me on the exercise. Oh, it's exorcist okay. program. I want to believe you, but you're laughing a lot. I can't help it since I got rid of my demons. I'm so happy. Okay. <laughs> but look Man. at me. I'm sexy, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I lost 25 fucking demons. <laughs> my, my, well, your maniacal laughter seems to have me worried. Is that a side no, effect? No. No, man. I'm happy as a clown. 
plan. Hallelujah. 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 Well, exercise in the mouth during an exorcist and exercise diet program. That, exactly, that's man. That's amazing. Where can I get that? There's more than likely 12 demons inside of me causing the extra weight. Demons weigh something. Did you know that demons actually have a weight? Well, with our exorcism exercise program, you can not only lose demons, you can lose the weight. Sure that this is a good program. <laughs> I lost like 175 Seems pounds. like you sacrificed mental health. 175 pounds. I'm thin. I'm fucking thin. Look okay. at me. Yeah, it's Look amazing. Look at me. Like, <laughs> TMRB with me? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I'm you sure? I'm sc- c- c- cares. <laughs> the exorcism exercise diet. Ask it where they sell exorcisms or exercise diets. Oh, there we go. Okay, uh, there's waiting a, for a phone call. There's a, well, there's no, a first first caller. Oh, All right, there is something. No, I'm just like, hey, the phone's ringing. <laughs> WJBW, who does be? What? Who is this? I can't hear him. Hello. Oh, oh. there. Oh, there we go. Hello. Hey, is this that radio show I called into a few weeks ago about the, the titties? It's you again? The guy that sounds like walking, but your name is what now? You're the titties guy. Frank Henderson. I'm, Frank I'm not. Henderson. Okay. I get, I, get, I get told that all day. Yeah. I'm not Christian Walken. Okay. I sound like him, I you guess. Do. You I don't sound know. a lot like him, Frank. Uh, anyway, yeah, you've called the, well, the radio show again. What's yeah. going on? No, I'm at, I'm at the Tibby's restaurant. Oh, you're at I got, the I got to tell you, 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 you got to try the, I don't I mean, I don't mean to interrupt the show, oh, but you, you got to try the Rita's chicken. The food on balls. Whoa. Don't what's get me so, started. What's so good about the Rita's chicken out it's there? It's crazy. Okay. Oh, it's so good. It's like covered with all this stuff and it's chicken and it's so good. It's spicy. It's Cajun. I mean, spicy. It's Cajun. I don't know how you're back and, on uh, the show, but Frank. I'm, <laughs> What's going on? I, I just had it. I saved it. I don't have many friends. I oh. saved it my, my number, my phone. Oh, you were like I'm, I'm on a date with this nice lady. You're on a date? So Okay. You're, yeah, I'm on a date oh, right now. on the radio show. Okay, you're, you're on a date. Yeah, her name's Carol. Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, I was, Carol? I was on one of those, uh, those dating apps, like uh, Plenty of Fish. Uh-huh. Crazy. Yeah. And you met someone named Carol. Is that JV? Oh, it's Dirty Carol. Oh, give me a phone. You're on yeah, a, yo, you know JV too. Like, you're you're on a date with this Frank Henderson guy. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I, I broke up with uh, synthesizer Mike. Oh and my I'm god! Well, you uh, yeah. tell us that. I'm out, I'm out and about. I'm dating again. I'm talking my stuff. Yeah, I'm doing my thing. And so I'm out here and doing what I got to do. And what do you think you're doing? I don't know. What's going on now? And oh, I, 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 I think. Uh, what do you think you're doing? You know, out here. I'm out here with the kids. I don't know. Synthesizer Mike found me. What's I, happening? I had. Well, it's because I got, yeah. I got my, uh, my bracelet from, you know, juvenile. Okay. You know, uh-huh. I was uh, a <laughs> Dirty bracelet Carol. and he tracked me from my, my Dirty bracelet. Carol. What is happening? You're out I'm of I'm the people. I told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm done with you. Uh, I'm not your emotional punching uh-oh. bag. Uh-oh. Oh, Whoa. no. Why did you bring the kids? So they can see what kind of true colors your mom has. Oh my God! Who is this? Who is it? This synthesizer Mike is at the restaurant on the date with Frank. On the date? How did you? Okay, where is the Frank guy? Is that his phone you're using? What is happening? So you're hooking up with a strange man. Oh my! Just out there hooking up with whoever. Whoa! Pump the brakes. Hold on. Hold. Give me the phone back. No, this is. I was just trying to have a nice. Okay. Hold on. Thank yeah, you. this is insane. That's What's Frank, going on? I don't know, Frank. I was trying to go, you know, have How? a nice date, you know. There was plenty of fish and, yeah. you know, you, you can pay. You two seem like you need to work things out. It, Are you going to leave him there? What happened to women, yeah. you know? Like, you know, you going to give them more counseling, so Frank? Different. Yeah. I, don't, I apologize. You should I, leave them. This isn't, uh, this Frank, is not get out of there. The get out of there, Frank. I, I just want uh, I, I got to go. Thank well, you. I, Frank, yeah, get leave. out of there, buddy. All right. Bye, Dirty Carol. Bye, Synthesizer Mike. Thank you, guys. Oh, that was really entertaining. Oh, Thanks. Oh, yeah. I, got I wish it, I was in that so restaurant with you. Yeah, yeah, I love to live just tweet just what's just happening. Just They're down there at Tibby's. Thank you. All right. Somebody's got to watch the kids. I hope. I can't. <laughs> okay, bye. I just, I just <laughs> dropped them. Yeah, oh, that was crazy. So the guy who accidentally called when Simon was here, yeah, yeah, right, right, is calling back, and he's on a date coincidentally with our uh, with our friend Dirty Carol, 
and synthesizer mike comes in and finds him at the restaurant it's just what are the odds of that i that's just too preposterous yeah, it's too preposterous to believe so it really is anyway, just, it, it is the jb rev show <laughs> In today's economy, you may not have enough money to take a proper vacation. That's why at GuiltTrip.com, you can take a free vacation. GuiltTrip.com. Log on today. <laughs> WJBW, Orlando, Florida. The first quasi-radio web show. Wow. Yeah. Hey. Anyways, like your soul. Yeah. What's oh, wrong dude, with you? My, my soul's okay. not bruised. This is not it's fucking beat up, okay. chewed up, spit out, and fucking oh. ready to fucking fight, motherfucker. Wow. That's my soul. Reverend, shut up. Right there. <laughs> Over there. I'm the new Jill. Okay. Atric. You're not the new Jill. I'm the geriatric. <laughs> geriatric. You're the. <laughs> Yeah, geriatric. Instead of delicious, you got geriatric. All right. Yeah. Anyway, you're yeah, turning you fifty. We're you're I'm turning geriatric. 50. You're right. Uh, I should just be an old grumpy motherfucker. That's what it's, that should wow. be. Season ten. Jerry's fifty. Season ten. Oh, I can <laughs> kick. Yeah, that's gonna I be can crazy. stretch, and I can kick your fucking ass. Yeah, that's gonna be weird. 50. <laughs> that is fifty be years weird. old. Remember that skit from Cherry O'Terry I on do. SNL? Yeah, it I'm was 50. not even Cherry can... O'Terry. It, it was, was uh, yeah, wow. it was uh, O'Malley. The no, it was the little redhead. No, it was the long no, Gilda Radner brunette. <laughs> nope, dude. How old is this Hold guy on. again? Wait, without looking, Gilda Radner. Shannon Holt. Shannon. She does nope. She does body painting, bro. What? We uh, sponsor her, Shannon bro. Malali, something like uh, that. No, that's yeah. Oh wait, Shannon yeah. Molly. Shannon Molly. Uh, is that it? You know it. who I'm talking about? Yeah, that's Shannon's the one. on Molly. That's, I know her well. <laughs> no. She that's, likes to no, have a good time, was, that Shannon on Molly. Is that her name? I'm looking Molly. it up now. Okay. Shannon Molly. Molly Shannon. That's, hey, thank you. She, Molly Shannon. Yeah, like ah. I'm tired ding, of this ding, new ding. Girly, man. Jack. Yes, I am. Well, no it's wonder. He's cock. on his phone Googling that shit. Cock. I it's see him. See, yep. It's all about the cock. Negative. It's all about the cock. It's all about the cut. <laughs> Thank you, Molly Shannon. Jeez, Molly Sh- How, Shannon why was that so hard for us to get? Yeah, I'll tell you anyway, why. Because you know. got this distraction over here called Jack. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Jack's not where Jack, Jack is welcome Jack, over here, sir. Jack's off. What? <laughs> what? Jack's on. All right, listen. <laughs> My proposition, yeah. or ask uh, if maybe you could come in. One of these uh, oh, Tuesday nights. Want them to actually come um, in, studio. in studio? Yeah, that's what I offered actually, him originally. Uh, yeah. yeah, because I, I mean, would. I would if I could. I will tell you that the work that I do now, I'm scheduled on that. That's why I had to do what I'm yes, doing now and yes, call so, in, yes, which of course, which is the opposite of what Jim. He never pay wanted you. me to call in. He always wanted me live in front of him. How much do we need to well, pay you? We'll Eddie. have you I some money uh, call you, in. Shut up, Reverend. Stop messing. <laughs> Stop messing up this new relationship you with bless him. My Stop head. It. I'll bless your pocket. <laughs> I love that answer. Bless uh, on, blasters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, don't mess with a blaster. There you go. I told my kids. I always tell my kids don't mess with a messer do you yeah. know what don't mess with a messer means <laughs> damn what right do i do means? don't mess with a messer dude yeah. meaning if someone if you've been messed with and someone tries to mess with you you're going to be a lot better at it than they are yeah so don't mess with a messer damn and right. so i say you go for it bro don't don't mess with a blesser because right. you're a blesser oh. dude you get blessings to people man i you know make people oh. feel dude yeah. that's a blessing man you and make you people too. hear you make them smell you make why well, make them smell because that's a julia <laughs> strong dude. true story true that's story a, dude nag champa even stronger man oh, i love the nag champa oh. dude i wear liquid dude i wear liquid oh. nag champa man not easy to find you got to go to certain ren fair circles but i'll get you some all right then Man, Eddie, <laughs> it's been a blessing having you. Thank you oh, so much dude, for are you kidding uh, me? Oh, honored, oh, honored. Oh, yeah. Graft macaroni and cheese, delicious skin graft elbow macaroni. We take the leftovers of skin grafts and form them into elbow macaroni looking like pieces and then mix it with a lovely cheese sauce that's actually fermented body fungus. Graft macaroni and cheese, delicious. You can call it food. It's actually people. Remember, you are what you eat. Graft macaroni and cheese. Graft macaroni and cheese is not a real product. 
Ever wonder what happens to that jam and Jason horse dong after it kicks the bucket? We do, too. Here with horse dongs are us, and you will have a giant, actual dead horse dick attached to your body. You can get that going. That's right. You heard it first here. That's right. You can get a Clydesdale, whatever color you want, whatever size you want. You can get that thing. And also, don't be afraid to ask. The balls do come with it. That's right. The balls are attached. All you got to do is sign a little waiver. Bam, there you go. You go from normal size man genitalia to boom. Nice big old horse dongs are us. I tried horse dongs are us, and now I'm gay. I was very happy with the horse dung. I get the horse dung, and now I am at the cream of the crop. I come to uh, the, the night club, and they go, Oh, you, oh, here come Oriental guy. He gonna have a smaller pickle, a oh, small little wing. But no, I drop on my pants. It's like, Whoa. Oh. <laughs> I tried horse dongs are us, and I've never been happier. I tried horse dongs are us, and now I got little centaur children. My wife, she is going to leave me when I was going to take all the, chil- all the children, but all of a sudden I got the big horse dong, and she she loves me so much now because I have a medium penis, but now nah, with horse dong are us, I have a great big fat cock now. She loves me so much. Boom! <laughs> but there will be some things problem. You will be shooting horse cum. That's right. It will not be normal hu- human cum. It will be horse semen. That is right. And it will be a lot. It will be a little giant change in your normal semen factory. It will be like a fire hose coming at your fucking body. That's right. Horsedongsrs.com. Yeah. Come on down and stand up. Operators are standing by to process your order while they softly laugh at you. <laughs> this is not a real order. Please don't think that you can actually get a horse dick. Everything going. This, this is not real. You cannot actually get a horse dick. Boom. 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 WJBW, Tuesday nights at 7 p.m. Live on Spreaker, every Tuesday night, WJBW. Here, I'll, let me answer it. Okay, hold on. Who's this? Who's this? Hey, is Michael? Yo. Dude, man, what's going on, bro? I'm glad you called. I'm broke down here on the side of the road. Um, my car's, uh, it's almost. Hey, man. It's on. Hey. What's that white boy doing? And, and I got this guy, this guy's tripping balls on me right now. Hey, man, let me get a dollar. <sighs> Jessica was supposed to show up. She didn't know what. Dude, What do you, where are you? I'm at, uh, I'm at Uncle Lou's. Oh, dude. Where are what, you? I'm I'm right right um if you just come out the door and around the corner. Hey, no, dude, I'm not gonna give you a dollar, bro. God. Dude, this guy won't leave me alone. Um if you go out the door, your uncle Lou's on, on Mills, right? Yes. Okay, yeah. Just go out the door. I'm over on the right. I'm I'm in the car that, that uh oh, is uh, that's dude, get away from Turn left or turn right. Turn, turn right. left and then turn right. It's you got to do both of those, dude. Dude, I'm, oh God, get, you need to get away from me. Do you see this black dude out here? You see me? I'm all freaking out, dude. I'm freaking out, dude. dude what? Can, don't, can don't, you see? Don't freak out. Where the uh, fuck are you? I'm right. I'm right. In, look, I'm waving at you. I can see you. Look, I'm over here. I'm over. Hey, I'm up. Get away from me, dude. Jeez. Can you see me? <sighs> no, I don't. Oh, you know I'm what? I'm facing Wills. Where, where should I look? <sighs> oh, my God. Did you see that? Well, no, I don't see you. Where the no, fuck are you? Listen carefully. What? Can you hear that? Dude, I think I'm tripping, bro. Oh! Oh, dude, I, I'm tripping, bro. Uh, okay, uh, listen, hey. I, I hear that. Where the fuck are you? I turned left out of Uncle Lou's. All right. All right, hey, calm down. And now I'm standing Now I'm standing on the corner of Mills and Canton. Oh, my God, you went too far. You went the wrong way, but it's okay. I went to, you told me to turn left, oh, motherfucker. Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, Michael, can I tell you something? 
I fucking I, yeah. You can tell me whatever the fuck you want. I love you, dude. I love the fact that you're out on the street looking around, thinking I'm in trouble because it's kind of a prank. I'm actually in a studio safe, and I'm good. But I like the fact that you <laughs> called me right away, and dude. You rock, bro. You're a good friend. Yeah. You are a good friend. I do. I do what I can, but the next time I see you, uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 <laughs> no, dude. Come on, that was awesome though. I like you called me right away. Oh, oh, you're out you there on on the corner guy. mills, hey, like thanks, running around. Thanks for calling. Tell him why you called him in the first place. No, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. We have Tell Michael why you called him in the first. place. I called. Okay. Hold on, I, wait. Listen. listen right. I know what the fuck's going on. Okay. Of course you do. W Chucky W. Seven o'clock Tuesday nights on Spreaker. Do You're listening to the JB Rev Show. We'll be right back. You're back with the JB Rev Show. What's up? Yeah. Pharrell. But even though on this edition we've got a little bit more of a scheduled. Uh, a scheduled show before we get to our guest over there, the man's, and you guys can weigh on this. Have you ever had to uh, put down a loved pet? Yeah, isn't that hard to do? It's, Very hard. It's like a family member. Yeah, that For is sure. like a family member. I mean, it is. A, it it a really member is of the family. I yeah. did it wrong the first time. Oh no, <laughs> Dave! Uh, what happened? The, 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 I just well, the I, knife I, wasn't sharp enough. I was given okay. the option to be in the room. Oh. You know, and, left. Oh. and I was like, I couldn't do it. Oh, I was so emotionally yeah. torn up. But it's then hard. I realized the poor, that it was, was the about, very it was last. for the pet. It wasn't right. about me. Yeah. Yeah. It was about right. them. And, no, oh. it was a terrible. Oh. I, I regretted that for okay. a while. Okay, well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm regretting it for you right now. I don't want to bring it up, bring up <laughs> bad feelings, bring up bad, uh, bad memories, but. The point of saying that was that my wife found this uh, wait, place. That was, that was his ex girlfriend, by the way. He was talking about. Okay, I don't have any okay. laughter <laughs> queued up for you. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, the so point bad. of that, though, was that uh, my wife found uh, somebody that will come to your home and euthanize your animal, which is really awesome. What- that is, is absolutely the best way because first and foremost, your pet knows when it's not feeling well, yeah. and it knows when it's going to the vet. And it's very traumatic for your pet. It is. You know, so I'm, the next time that I have three awesome cats, and um, yeah. I, I'm not going to do that to them. I'll definitely have someone come to the house. Someone come to the house, a place because that they know. when they do it, it is very peaceful. And they pass just peacefully. It, very peaceful. Yeah. It's like, you anyway. know. Yeah. I just so, thought that would be uh, something but that's interesting. Way What's the name of that? Near and dear to my uh, recent experience here losing an animal. But if it can what be company? under those best uh, situations uh What company possible. is this that does this? I, oh, you I, don't I have know. to ask my wife. Oh. Wouldn't it be nice mm. if you could do that for people in pain, too? Oh, oh. yeah. So what are you that's saying? True. That, that look very good? That's true. I, was I mean, thinking. the quality of life is everything. Well, that's been, you know, we've been talking about it for a long time. That's a pretty deep subject to jump right into there. It's true, but um, it's, it's something she's been wanting to bring up with you for a while. It's kind of oh. an intervention. <laughs> yeah. She's We're been all telling here. us lately how you haven't been doing well. I'm here under false pretenses. You're not pulling your weights. We need you to ask you to put the guitar down. So we need you to... Put your uh, roll thumb, your sleeve up. Thumbprint on got this, an IV here this for paper you. right here. <laughs> get the, yeah, we need, we need to sign this waiver. I'll just go ahead and finish your cocktail uh, for you. We're going to no, set a record. Sounds like I'm going to need that. The first uh, euthanasia here on a podcast. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, no. we would get we would get arrested well, for that. We're not euthanizing anyone. No, he's, <laughs> he's not feeling well. Yeah, this Gina is our said, pit. She was like, I'll bring him. But we're you start guys out, quit Start quit out with a euthanizing of David Mann, for God's sakes. And it'll be the first ever, too. Yeah, it would be the first ever broadcast. We might get some listeners. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's you, get you off of these the drastic stuff. This let's later. get off of these Anything topics. For ratings. Yeah. So roll up the sleeve. <laughs> we got your IV set up over here. Mm. <laughs> so uh, anything for ratings, right? So you know it. There it is. All right. Well, good Just deal. As long as I enjoy. And Luke, do you have any questions for the banana foodie before we close uh, out with him? No. No questions unless, about Marion County. Unless you wanted to verify with him that bananas are in fact. A tiny bit radioactive. What? Okay, the banana uh, thing. The, they, uh, the banana thing, they are, in fact, extremely radioactive. Not a tiny bit. They are extremely radioactive. I didn't know extremely if you, eat a bunch of them, if, if, you if you eat a bunch of them, if you eat a bunch of them, you would actually die of radiation poisoning. I've been eating about two a day now, and then what? the cool thing is, is I learned you, you oh. peel them from the backside, okay. not with the That is not side. true. 
It's a little bit more difficult. That's correct. There's, 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 there's actually a, there's a better way to peel them. I well, recently I learned that, and I feel really uh, I feel cool <laughs> that I know how to do it, but I also feel like what the hell? I don't like doing it in front of people because I think they're gonna judge me. <laughs> the way you unpeel it. Yeah, like, yeah, like the, why are you doing it like but that? I also keep yeah. eye contact with them when I eat it whole. So. That's funny. Oh, your coworkers? Okay. Yeah. Oh, there always. You go. That's, always, that's... always maintain eye contact. Oh, yeah. wow. There we go. Okay. Well, that's a good note. Uh, we'll get on the close on that shit. It's Satan Touch Home Alarm System. Satan Touch Home Alarm System. We'll have our certified team come out and draw a pentagram on your living room floor and then cover it with an ancient rug. Those spirits that will be gnawing on your soul will also protect your human form. Never worry again about a break-in. Any thief, these demons will kick their ass. It's Satan Touch Alarm System for your home. It's Satan Touch Home Alarm System. And when I'm getting ready to start my fucking weekend right now. No, I did it. It's so hot. I have there. a medal. Yeah, I, I got a medal too. <laughs> it's in my head. People like, a, you know, like a participation that. medal that I finished. Participation I bet you did. <laughs> medal. So no, you, I did. Okay. It was it's wonderful. Like, it took blood. me nine hours. <sighs> Nine hours to get that butt plug in them. Yep. What? <laughs> it's <laughs> tight over there. It was there. Back in that back door. Like, oh, tight. it was worth it. It's all about the cock. Uh, <laughs> nice drop there. Anyway, so, okay. I'm tired of this little girly man. Yeah. So uh, thanks for bringing Jack. Oops, Demarco. Oh, okay. Anyway, all right. So us. before we do any kind of breaking stupid news really badly or anything, why? Oh, shut up. Over I'm calling there. HR. He's a great guy. Anyway, he sat in for you multiple times, so you should be thanking him. Anyway. Sat in or sat on? So whatever you think it is, I don't know. I think it's strange. Is what I think. It's like Stranger Things. <laughs> I'm, I'm, if, if you, do you watch Stranger Things? It's all about the cock. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow. Because I'm not done with season three yet. Oh, well, oh, so oh, you know, everybody Sarah's dies, fine. right? Especially Sarah's that one fine. dude. <laughs> He's dead. WJBW is made possible by sausage. Stick one in your mouth. Hey. Northern part of Germany, uh, outside a little town called Eschwege. Eschwege. Uh, oh, I, lived in a I know Eschwege town, well. Yeah. I lived in a little town called Vierbach. Oh, Vierbach. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, maybe it sounds I, delicious. Like, yeah. Eschwege tastes like... An uh, hour outside of uh, Castle, Germany. And definitely. Then, uh, maybe about three hours from Frankfurt. Oh, my God. Frankfurt. <laughs> yeah. That's where one of the best hot dogs you can get <laughs> is there in Frankfurt. <laughs> is it really? Yep. I thought True they story. Were more well known for Yeah, well, for you shoes. think it's American hot yeah. dogs. Schnitzel. Yeah. Frankfurt <laughs> Schnitzel hot dog. Yes. All right. Well, talking with so. Smiling Dan, I don't know what, which one of the ditches. Dan actually told that me that is like the 10 years ago. Of the I don't reverend. know if it's true. Maybe he was fucking oh, with me. Oh, the Reverend. <laughs> I'm going to get you in a casket match. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Fucking mayhem on milk. It's a coffin fucking, match. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, whatever. To call to put you in a paper well, box. Gonna die. Put you in a cardboard box outside Anyways, of Wills. Back to Dan. All right. <laughs> this is my art installation rev in a cardboard box. <laughs> just out there. Hey, we're getting it's really, live art. Yeah. He's live art. Just watch him. Just watch what he does. He thinks it's his house. Oh, now, did I actually oh. get him? No, he's ru- he's rusing me. Nope, nope, no, nope. No, there's a nope. tear coming out. There's of nothing it. coming out of this. No, no, cool. no there's it's not coming out of his nose now. Fucking he's sawdust just coming it. out. Of his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe shit from him. Anyway, can we all right. Back to Dan? Oh, can we please? Right, I mean, please. you're running this here. Yeah. yeah, are you running it? Shit, you're down running to it the into the ground. Yep. How about uh, let's get back to Dan and you. <laughs> Cheeseburger. Cheeseburger. We're here at the JB Rev Show, <laughs> trying to get your hand signals right. This or it's all this? sign language in here right now, folks. All right, okay. it is. It's and mainly I don't me, sign, so I don't know what they're saying. It's mainly me flicking them out. Can you do you not understand what fucking the middle finger means, oh. yes, Daniel? What is, that? what is that? Yes, I do. Man. Yeah, I like it. Seriously. So we immediately went dark and shadowy. Let's do it. 
Let me so, tell you something. Uh, we we've, uh, we interviewed you back uh, in the uh, in the very first in episode. In the eighties? Uh, no, it was Dave and Steve. Uh, Dave and Steve were both in here. We called it the Reclusion Special. Oh yeah. Dubbed them both uh, local legends, and uh, so we played played Which means music old. on uh, we found music out. on the Circadian Cast. It does not mean old. Yeah, that's what we found. Michael <laughs> Michael McDonald from uh, the Doobie Brothers told us that legend <laughs> means old. It wasn't Michael McDonald from the Doobie <laughs> Brothers. Oh, yeah, it wasn't all like that every, time. Every legend. It's like every legend. <laughs> tour actually it's, means retirement tour no you know? no, like, no totally it's no, our listen. this is our final he, farewell he, tour he, he thinks that we spoke with michael mcdonald <laughs> and you're you're really david are Giff. you kidding that was this okay. i thought this was barry's okay. brother the whole wow. time i wrote t- it up on yeah, the board bro, yeah. wow okay. that's why i said that's so Andy. funny oh it's my Mike god daniel is <laughs> I thought Gibbs. this was you classic know, rock Dan, night. No, dude. what are you doing? <laughs> oh man! So <laughs> All right, stop messing. Stop messing. Calm <laughs> down over there. Dude, Do I you know it. Jerry Johnson, Dave? I mean, who doesn't? I I don't think so. The Reverend? Let's hope uh, not. Because you know at this point, this you is a bad him. intro. Oh, <laughs> I mean, oh what is, anyway. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm just being honest. I might if I if, if maybe if I saw you, brother, but I don't know. Uh, well, the time that we uh, embraced, it was pretty what? dark. <laughs> Are you talking? <laughs> that, but it was, what exit was it? You know. <laughs> it was a dark oh, Miles night. Parker was that one? <laughs> yeah. Wow. See, yeah. Okay, was, so you okay. anyways, so, where were you going with this, the, JB? The Mile Marker 54 Spring Fest? Was it that one? All right, now you're getting dark. You want to talk about dark stuff. Jeez. We, we, we're, now we're there. Oh, welcome, welcome, here she is, welcome to the joining of these two beautiful souls. I'm honored to be officiating this union between Nell and Pootie Tang. A successful marriage is based on c- good communication, and I think this union beautifully exemplifies that beautiful truth. So, let us move to the declaration of intent and sharing of vows in this non-religious ceremony. Uh, Nell, Pooty, please join hands. Look at one another now, and remember this moment in time. Okay, now, Pooty, please take Nell's hand and repeat after me. Nell, I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. Yeah, Pooty got a flitted tie, biggest shorty. That's a fine time, baby. Uh, Nell, uh, I promise this day forward to be grateful uh, for our love and your life. Uh, uh, to be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection, to love you completely. These things I pledge before you, our friends and family. Sadate. <laughs> Sadate. Okay. Uh, Nell, please take Pootie's hand. Uh, and repeat after me. Pootie, I take you as you are, loving who you are now and who you are yet to become. I promise uh, from this day forward to be grateful for our love and our life. To be generous with my time, my energy, and my affection to love you completely, these things I pledge before you, our friends, our our family. Ma, listen now, Ma, say, if I don't go, got ants to come. Okay. Uh, Okay. Uh, Booty, do you take Nell to be your wife? I'm going to sign your kitty on the second time. Okay. Uh, 
Nell, do you take Pooty to be your husband? Let's move to the blessing and giving of the rings. Uh, sounds like everyone's in accordance, I believe. I'm pretty sure. Uh, b- b- please present the rings. Your wedding ring is a symbol of your promise to one another. Uh, the ring, an unbroken, never-ending circle, is a symbol of committed, unending love. Pooty, as you place the ring on Nell's finger, uh, please go ahead and give us your prepared vows. Okay, the property! My favorite animal has personally been responsible for wiping out more men, and I do mean men, than bullets, bayonets, or bombs. As you place this ring on Pootie's finger, what you go ahead and please give us your prepared vows. I so tired, tired, I like... And the kind of Lord, he, he lit my sky as on the sky. Okay. P- Pooty and Nell, you've come here today of your own free will, I think. And in the presence of family and friends, have declared your love, I, th- I think, again, and commitment to each other. I'm pretty sure you have. Uh, you've given uh, and received a ring as a symbol of this promise. Uh, so by the power of your love and commitment to each other and the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Sadate and in the wind. You may kiss do your first kiss as, as husband and wife. Congratulations. Congratulations. Friends and family, uh, the newly married couple, uh, very good. And it was, oh, you have an objection? No. I'm a time oh. check. Jamie, why is it up? Now, Jamie, I'm on the Jamie's mama, D. I'm mama, D. There's a sign, Tiffany, in a classic. She's a cold tone. Hey, if you're not having a good time, I'm not having a good time. So why the fuck you listening? Get the fuck off my channel. <laughs> I'm just over here having a good okay. time. Bro. Is that what it is? Yeah, man. It seems like you're I'm just listening at my expense so, or I'm our guest like, uh, expense. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Jesus, shut everything down. All right, well, in as a. <laughs> What are we going to do? Come back and talk for five uh, minutes? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. Let's uh, we'll play some Tom York. Come back for five minutes, then uh, cue our call up with uh, motherfucking John, Johnny Z. They would call him John Zazula. Zazula. Talking with Christian Kelton, fr- freshly good. dubbed a local legend. Thank That's, you, sir. Thank you for, am I officially in the local legend club? You still are now. Yeah, man. Yep, you're Everybody in the middle. in right now? Once you're in a the middle. Can, can, yep. can you hit an applause button? That'd be a good place get, for an applause button. You get three onesie grams. Dummy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We don't have applause buttons here. You guys have, there's no uh, applause for. Well, I'm so happy to be a local legend, you guys. Thank you so much. I don't even. I'd like to thank. I'd like to thank my dad and um, everybody who's ever worked at Wally's or drank at Wally's or. <laughs> Let's go to it. Jeez, man. Everybody's ever worked at Wally's. Or drank at Wally's. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to this. Fucking break here, please. Somebody help me. Tom oh. York. Tom York. Let's go to it. Jeez, man. Everybody's ever worked at Wally's. Or drank at Wally's. Goodbye. Goodbye. Go to this. Fucking break here, please. Somebody help me. Tom York. Tom York. You got it on loop, dude. Let's go to a cheese man. Please don't work your eyes. Don't work your eyes.
the first quasi-radio web show. Wow. Yeah, hey. 